Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening, Rosen, L and Dean, and Crimey, Daily, Tansy, Kitchen, and Habitual. Good evening. Good evening, Anna and Blossom and Adele and Litton. Koa? Nice. Hugen has McGee. Daily fabulous to see you. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on where you are on this beautiful planet. Thank you so much for joining me on my Saturday evening. Uh, chat, look, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything today. Today's live streams were a mess. A mess and a half. A just double mess. Mess squared. How much larger of a mess can we get? Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope you're having a fabulous weekend and taking care of you, yourself, being productive while you're listening to these shenanigans, because I'm not going to lie, today's full of shenanigans and not a good type of shenanigans. So, like, if you're not in a good... If you're not in a strong space, maybe give this one a miss. Um, a lot of people are obviously... Obviously? Who am I? <laughs> um, are obviously very caught up on Chantal's um, BS and shenanigans over the evening. Uh, it was bad. It was just bad. What Chantel really does double down on the satire and irony, doesn't she? <sighs> just the worst. Right, but today we're going to cover things because I was away yesterday and now we've got nine hours worth of just trash. Garbage mama. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Um, to cover. So we've got to kind of like get through and summarise and, and do the things. Um, today we'll be reacting to In Short... This will never work. Uh, do you, but don't lie. Here's the summation of this stream. Oh, guess what? Old mate is walking back the fact that he and Chantel slept together. Chantel really can't get over it and decided to stream for two and a half hours about how awful old mate is. Right. Then there's another stream in the middle. It's potato quality. Shout out to Lottie for letting me know. Thank you. I ripped my pants. I don't care. Uh <laughs> It's an hour and two minutes of Chantel setting up a, a, a visiting groomer and vet for BBJ while stating she had ripped pants and in a car. Great, don't care. Room bees, more chat about um, about pets and stuff. We'll probably touch on room bees and this uh, will not work just because I want to get a tone and context for the day. And then we get a four hour open stream of Chantel, three bottles of Moscato Deep and just being real bad. Just ba objectively Bad. This isn't even like me being a judgmental queen. Bad. This just objectively bad. Bad. <laughs> just bad. Yes, L. That's exactly where we are. And um, I have seen it compared to Cuba Bees, and she is both drunker and worse. <laughs> to the surprise of nobody, because she's just not a good person. There, I said it. Um, cool. We've also got a he's seven, got seven, a seven, rolled seven sigs. Which is the final stream of the night, um, which we might just watch to cap the evening. Um, just uh, a point of note as well, Chantel's listening to a lot of copywritten uh, music, which does make it a challenge, but you know me, I've got the fabulous YouTube audio library words, <laughs> words uh, lined up. So as soon as I hear that, oop, I will jump the stream ahead three minutes or throw some audio over it. Who knows? It's nebulous. Anyway, I do understand I miss people as well. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, NS, thank you very much for being a channel member for 12 months. Happy anniversary. NS says, buddy up, this will be wild. Yes, chat, it's important. Remember to take care of yourself and your health and be responsible and find a buddy if you are preparing yourself to tackle Chantel today. Um, not physically, just, you know, her content. Um, also, I did see Bidusi. Thank you for the super chat and lovely to see you today. I hope you're doing well, Bidusi. Um, Bidusi asked, uh, how does YouTube allow this or how does she still have the YouTube channel? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Like, it, it, apparent, like you can just be the worst. I honestly thought she wasn't going to come back after, like, last time. But this, this... I don't know. You could probably argue that it's active destruction, um, being this drunk on a stream continuously, but who knows? I don't I don't know what YouTube's duty of care is anymore, and I don't think they care as long as ads run on the content. Um, Anne, hello, thank you for being here for 15 months, Anne. Fabulous to see you today. Anne says, hey, Zach, hope you're good. Another month here. One more, I was going to say month around the sun, but that's not how months work. <laughs> Fabulous to see you, Anne. Thank you for being here. Uh, and Tansy, thank you for 15 months. Tansy says, a three bottles and a wheelchair. Ah, yes, I can't forget the atomic wheelchair. Um, the, the gummies that Chantel imbibed 
Love that word. What a great word. What an underutilized word. Anyway, that's what we're going to do today. I hope you've all got a big cup of tea, a big cup of coffee. Rude disclaimers. Hi, my name's Zach. Fabulous to meet you. And if you're new, wake up, Zach. And thank you very much for returning. If you are coming back, I'm not a mental or physical healthcare professional, just a guy who lost some weight, talks about foodie beauty, and watches way too much of it on the internet. My words really are bad today. Also, not here to bully, shame, hate, harass, or humiliate. Literally here to talk about the produced and monetized content that we see here on this planet channel. A reminder that it's all about the words that come out of our mouths. Or words, words, and choices. Oh my god, <laughs> that was real. She got me. She got me. I I was doing a little bit of prep work because I went to the gym. I did legs. I was deadlifting. How good are deadlifts? Deadlifts are great. Highly recommend deadlifts. Um, I was deadlifting and I was just like, yeah, cool. Here's like a hundred kilos. I will just like lift this like <laughs> forty times. Great. Um, was doing all of that while Chantal was yammering in my ear, and then I I got home and continued listening to the yammering and got to the end of the live stream uh, of tonight. It was bad. It was just real bad. It was bad, 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 bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's just bad. <laughs> um, also got to pin the disclaimer, which I couldn't repeat correctly, but I will put it out in written context. Written form? Oh my god, Zach. Wake up! <laughs> L, I did not see that, and... <laughs> I did not see that, but it definitely does lighten the mood, doesn't it? Ew. <laughs> Um, and putting that out in the universe, Chantel is not my type. <laughs> For so many reasons. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna skip through the first couple of streams, and then we're just gonna get to this four-hour mess, because I know that's kind of, like, it's got the main talking point, so we will get to that. Um, right meow, it, it was bad, yes. <laughs> in short, bad stream. Also, um, I have a small bowl of pitted dates, um, as my little snack today. I don't, I don't eat on stream. Um, it's not a thing, but Chantel with nine hours worth of content and being as bad as it was, I felt like I needed a little, and you know, witches need carbs. So I just needed, I needed a little extra energy today. So apologies, um, apologies in advance if, if I do require those carbohydrates. Anyway, uh, let's get this YouTube up. YouTube up? YouTube up. Let's get rid of that chat. Uh, this will never work. Again, we're just going in on at speed. Uh, we will hit some minor talking points and go. Hello, Greg. Oh, good. An empty room. That. Good. Good start. Good start. Our lady, funnily enough, no. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. How we started the day? I blocked an outer for good. Hey. What a shock. He's gonna watch this, so here's my message to you. I am sorry for being so back and forth. Coffee and cleavage. Time to eat. I hope it, you enjoyed this the skit. Good. <laughs> I know it's hard to take me seriously. It's hard to take myself seriously. Um, in every way, in so many ways. It's today. not the first time I've actually blocked him, but it's not. It's rare that I actually block, block, block. Cool. This is not an important talking point. Skip it. I'm literally at a point. I'm away right now because I don't want to be around him. Like he stresses me out. I'm tired of like financially being fucked. Of ah, uh, swear jar foodie. Only eight doing minutes. Doing all in. these things, stressing out. Like I stressed out so hard to find a place for him to like, because like he and Didi weren't getting along or something. So I stressed out. Like, right. So, so she's now got me in a in a bad. Well, she's got me in a bad mood in general. But she's like even worse off now. We're not getting an apartment tour of old mates. So hard. Rude. How to rude. find a fucking motel like last minute to like hang out or whatever. And he had the nerve to be like, this place is gross and all this other shit. Hey, Doc Robidecki. Oh, Hello. Just, Happy weekend. I can't weekend. deal with that. Like, secretive misery. Like, I'm secret, secretly miserable behind the scenes, and then I have to come live and... Dude, lies. ...pretend with you guys, and I just want to be fucking honest and just... Swear to honest in, like, a sanctuary. Like, so I went, went live when he was sleeping. I'm like, it feels so dark. It feels dark and dirty, and I don't like it anymore. Great. Cool. So this is how the day started. Fab. Noted. Yeah, because... Anyway, so... Uh-huh. Same. Yeah, the person calling, Hello, Chantal Marie! You still want the apartment on? I can't even remember what street it is. Probably best not to mention it, love. Uh, Booty Bay, hello. Thank you for the super chat and good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Booty says, 30 pounds down and finally working on my ED. Nice. Just wanted to share watching you always made my day and help me stay focused on myself. 
Thank you so much. Oh, Booty, it is my absolute pleasure. Thank you for thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your story. And thank you for, for taking your health and yourself seriously because you're worth it. Thank you for the super chat. And chat, can we get some hands up and some love in the chat for Booty? Keep doing you, Booty. Congratulations. And thank you. No, I'm no longer interested. That's awesome. You can read my lips if you want. Natural. Lovely to see you today. Hello. One point five. Jules, welcome to very important users. Welcome, welcome to very important users. Skip. Yes, he did slap me a few times. Context. I need context. Rewind. Context. Hope he doesn't like feel insecure about it like us. Like not like we're not ever going to be romantic, but he is like my best friend. He's basically just like a platonic life partner at this point. That's gonna get real awkward in about six hours. Yes, he did slap me a few times. I don't. I don't know this. This story with. I'm. I'm assuming this is a, a conversation about old mate and all of that. This story has gone like from it happened to it didn't happen to it kind of happened to it might have been me who interpreted it wrongly to it might have been. Ugh, I hate all of it. Just. Here's the thing, Foodie. You get mad about people like questioning whether or not any of this happened. How about stop talking about it? Yeah. Because all you do when you keep talking about it is confuse the narrative and no one believes you in general, so. What did I say about her deceased partner? I don't even remember. I was so mad. I was just talking about everyone today. Also, her stomach really does look torn up. Jesus Christ. The last time you saw. Did you all see that? I'm sure this isn't just sauce. Okay, that was shady. Um, <laughs> looks torn up. Oof. I mean, it was like. Dreadhead, hello. Lovely to see you today. When and Lucy. The hotel? What other tribe called Creek? Bedbugs? Do you think bedbugs? <sighs> There's a heap of trash behind her there. It's not just about being clean, but yeah, it's like, at the same time, it's like. But it's not just about being claimed as his girlfriend. It's about having any kind of fucking respect for me after, like, everything, you know? You're an idiot and he doesn't respect you. Sorry. I don't know how you don't get it after this long. People, like, he will not even admit. Like, he tries to say, like, the incident where we got into a huge fight and he, like, did all that stuff that I put on the report. He, like, he's saying that I was crazy and I was on, I was high and it didn't happen. And then he's like, you're going to admit to that, but you, you wanted to drive home and you were high. I didn't let you. He's like, whenever he like didn't let me go home, he's trying to say like because I was high, so he didn't let me go home. To be fair, that's kind of exactly what I thought when when she was telling the story. She kept saying that he hid my keys, and it's like we had that conversation on stream where we were talking about like you know anti drink driving like th conversations that happen here in Australia, and it's kind of like well you give your keys to someone else so you don't drive home drunk. Do you see what I mean? He's very smart in certain ways. And I really, really, Carved Up Chantal, you can say all this. Is it, is it like super, is it super smart or is it just like coincidence? I don't know. Go back, okay? I don't know. Just make it like, I mean, there's logic no, I'm not in going that. Back. Thanks for the super chat. Would he really care though? Asked Jen. Also good to see you, Jen. Well, Jen, I mean, Chantal at that time was acting as the Uber and the cab driver. So like, if Chantal lost her license or lost her car or, you know, as like a, a minimal impact of what, something that could have potentially happened, it would have put him out. So, I mean, maybe. A terrible friend Chantal is. He's not stupid. The thing is, for what? Like, I'm not really a bad friend. Like, I'm not, the, I haven't been the best of friend, I guess, but. That's true, Lucy. Maybe I have been a bad friend. <laughs> Shouldn't use the word smart. No. <laughs> no, that's me. If that is the nicest thing in 15 months, yeah, the nicest thing. I know he, I feel like he hates me. But for what? What did I ever do to you other than fucking give you money? Or like, I talked about you online, that's what you really hate, isn't it? Yeah, you probably not. Who you really are. Why would you live a lie like that? Like, probably that, and also like, if you, if you saw this narrative being played out from like, our perspective, from audience perspective, and again, depending on how much you watch, like, you might you might be able to argue that another reason why old mate like has such an issue with you in general that we don't see is because you consistently like you consistently tell us that you guys are doing these things and then it literally turns around in the space of a day 
So, because it throws me back to like when when you were saying that you were going to take him to a parole meeting and then you didn't, you flaked out on it and you didn't, he, yeah, you didn't go and then he was like all mad at you about it. And it's like, well, we've just kind of con- continuously seen that like forever for 12 months now. So, I mean, there's, there's, I would, I would, you know what? There's a long laundry list of reasons why old mate probably isn't getting along with you. God, I hate it. <laughs> uh, lost in foodies food, but hello. Thank you for the super chat, mate. Lost says, Nada is meeting another woman this weekend. Oh no, see Monchi's new video. Oh really, Lost? Oh God. You know, mm, I don't like that. Thank you for the super chat though. Um, I, yeah, if, if, all of these people are just the worst. Like, if, they, if, if Old Mate and Foodie... This is why part of me was like, Old Mate and Foodie would be perfect together. Because, like, collectively, they would be taken out of the dating pool for other individuals. Uh, if I were him, I would want to be like... I would come online and be like... I appreciate like, it. If that were me, this is what I want him to... This is what I would expect him to do. Go live with me. Because if you really love me, uh-huh. you'll be more concerned. This is, this is... Everybody except for Foodie knows that he doesn't love you. He doesn't care. He just wants your money, girl. Wake up. Skip it. A shoe shoe could be anybody, so have fun proving that I'm even talking about you, moron. Bless you. Oh, we drawing on eyebrows? Is that what we're doing here? I miss this. Mean, morons. This. Have fun. These eyebrows. They exchange dirty pics. It wasn't a dirty pic, but I'm sure. Kind of like mine. Nice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is he taller or is he taller? Honestly, I don't know. I can't confirm that lie. I think... Yeah. How do you not know? I think she says that. He, I think she says that he's a bit tall. They're like the same height. You can't sue for talking about someone's brows. Where are you gonna sue me about your feelings being hurt? You dumb, stupid idiot! Did you lose any money? Just again, just just remember how Chantel cries that her audience and reaction channels are the worst. We're bullies. We're so bad. Yeah, Chantel's never been mean to any of her audience members ever. Mm-hmm. Money? Mm-hmm. What are you gonna sue me for? There's a lot of that today. You ruined your own job, Dee, because you were in shit from your job. You admitted it. But it, hello. The prank sure. company time. So that's not my problem. I, You know what? Like, part of me wants to theorize that the, the washing machine just isn't working. But part of me also knows that Chantel just, uh, CBF. CBF. You did that for stupid matter. He thought it would be a good idea. Like, he doesn't get it. He doesn't listen to me. It always has to be his way. Your way's not working, buddy. Isn't it? Like, grossly, it it all seems to work out, and I hate it. She lost that voice. Kale Lowry just tried getting people to not talk about them in the internet. She lost that lawsuit. Dee Dee will, too. I want her to try. Get using that. I want. I don't I don't necessarily want Dee Dee to file a lawsuit. I want Dee Dee to do another thing, but that's fine. Uh, Lost, thank you again for the super chat. Lost says, Joan Crawford. <laughs> How dare you? Jo- Joan Crawford would never... <laughs> Jones at least were filled in. Iconic eyebrows. <laughs> these, are, these look like texture on a forehead. <laughs> Thank you, Lost. Not pension. Or maybe maybe Nada can fork over some. Definitely butted. I don't give a damn what Dee Dee looks like with her actions and all this make her a nasty person. I don't know. She, she's so convincing that she's so prim and proper and not a bad person and I'm the crazy one, right? Because I have mental illness. She even tried to shame me on that. I have my right mind. You call me geriatric, right? With her little thumb, her little arm thing. But I'm smart, Chantal. Let's see it, Dee Dee. Let's see it, Dee Dee. So Look, smart. personally, we, I still don't understand what Dee Dee's motive is. Um, I think Dee Dee is far smarter than Chantal in general. Not because she, like, inserted herself. Like, I think that is obviously not a smart move. Um, but she knows when to just, like, take a step back, like, just, just, just to watch it all unfold, you know, Chantal really is just out here saying all the words. You're really smart. Is that your tactic? Lying for Natter? That's your smart tactic? You really think I'm dumb. You don't know who you're, you don't know who you're dealing with either, honey. You don't know who you're dealing with either. Dee Dee still- Take each other to court. Has a job, maybe- Please. She was in trouble, but not fired. I don't think they're scamming me. She's never asked me for money. At all. I don't know what he does with his money. He doesn't make so much. He doesn't make that much money. I mean, what does he do with his money? It's weird. I mean, we know he allegedly gets 1500 to $2,000 from one source. Okay, so. Langley, you literally look like an entire skid mark. And you're oh. going to like talk about my skid marks? Oh. At least my skid marks come from my ass and don't look like my face. Thank you for your $1.99. Chantel's trying to find that library card. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, poop. 
Sorry, Faith. I know that was probably rude. Some people are nice and wholesome and grandmotherly and nice, and you're surprised when I defend myself so rudely. Sorry, but fuck. I don't. Is anyone really that confused that Chantel isn't nice? We know. <laughs> we know. Chantel's mean. <laughs> She's a mean girl. <laughs> Jesus. Probably pack. I'm too unstable in reaction or descript anything. Right? Fuck, L. First thing you've said I love. <laughs> Did you get blocked, L? <laughs> I actually love when my haters validate me. Clap back, lean into it, make bank. Fuck. I don't want to stress myself out. What do you think of my look? Does she look clapped. stressed? I'm nice. I just don't like you telling lies for money. Like you're doing? Are you fucking crazy? Like, that's literally what you do. You tell lies for money. So what's your tactic? You're gonna come in here and accuse me of lying so I go on your panel and tell you off? I'm not going on your panel, I'm sorry. It's not gonna happen. <clears throat> give me 500 bucks right now and I'll do it. If you give me 500 bucks, I'll go on your panel. If you send me 500 No, I will never do it, but if you pay me. <laughs> but if you pay me enough. Nobody hates you, Chantel, we care about you. Thank you. <laughs> Who said that? I want, I want a receipt. Who said that? Who said that? I don't hate you, you're just a train wreck I watch. Nothing more, nothing less. I wouldn't. Same energy. These are just my stories. Consider being called unstable validation. Yes, because it's true. You know, I don't, because people are calling me, saying that I script, I'm a scripting genius and all this. She is I, absolutely not a scripting genius. She leans into the nonsense in her life and makes her bank being a spectacle on the internet and has been doing it for years now. She knows exactly, she knows what she's doing. She's just, she doesn't have, bleh, bleh, words. She just doesn't have it necessarily planned out. You know, it's not true. Oh, the bank's a little bit low. Better get into a fight and verbalize all of that for nine hours today. Or, consequently, just get drunk and um, stream. Because that always, like, stirs up attention and drama. <laughs> no, I know that because you don't like the truth. You don't even know me. You've known me for, like, Holly, five minutes. Holly, hello. Good to see you. I don't like the truth. Okay. Yeah, right. So I'm taking off my shoes. 500 is low. No, you're worth. <laughs> yeah. Because I thought it was Jay a good boy. reason to sit here in shoes. And it's not. My apartment dumping. And my gym shoes. Lifting I'm shoes. Not getting an apartment, I get They're fine. volleys. They're cute. I know, Put on lipstick. Skip okay, it. Well, person has the most derogatory picture of me. And then they have the nerve to say, you filthy animal, you disgusting pig. You're calling me vile, but calling me a disgusting pig in the same sentence. These are my favorite kind of idiots. These are my favorite kind. I'm guessing. Chantel, you're one of my favorite kind of idiots. I won't lie. You're going to need to keep your two bucks because you're probably not the brightest person. And you probably haven't gotten very far in life because happy people. Oh! <laughs> Hold on, I need, I need, I need the full concept of what's being said here. Go on. Shut up. I do I need to get Okay, I love how this person has the most derogatory picture of me. Uh -huh. And then they have the nerve to say, you filthy animal, you disgusting pig. You're calling me vile, but calling- Just a reminder, chat, I'm a really big fan of, like, hands off. This is not my reality. I'm just watching, I'm just watching the show. Calling me disgusting pig in the same sentence? These are my favorite kind of idiots. These are my favorite kind. I'm guessing you're gonna need to keep your two bucks because you're probably not the brightest person and you probably haven't gotten very far in life because happy people who are successful do not cut other people down for two bucks. Is Chantel reading as a happy person? A successful person? Is Chantel the type of person to cut someone down for two bucks? Nah, she'll do it for free. <laughs> she'll do it for free on, on the internet for hours and hours and hours, and just hours. But go on. <laughs> All right, this is, oh my God. So we should sign up the cats for this. Yes. Oh, this is where she's Free. looking at the mobile vet thing. Skip it. Sorry, chat. I'm very distracting. You pick fuck boys and then complain they're fuck boys. <laughs> because they lie. They claim they're not fuck boys. So deal with the consequences of being a fucking liar then. The camera focusing on the saggy boobs. Oh, she is picking an area with that. Sorry. Am I allowed to wear a bikini top in public? Hey, Lime Jello. But it, I have no idea. Like, I don't know with I don't know how far you have to push distasteful BS to breach a community. That's why garden. I thought I haven't had sex with this guy yet. He's been asking, but nope. You guys want Misha back, don't you? Don't know. Don't care. Picture. Skip it. <laughs> Brooke. Anything? What you got? 
Okay, a whole heap of quiet. Great, that was record time. Room Beeson, this is an hour and 27. There is a point that I need to watch in this, but we'll skip up to that stage. Go. Earn a new wig. First thing I want to say Go is, is suck my ass, angel hands. Rip angel hands. Tell all is coming? Really? You're going to defend a liar? Okay. Bring it on, bitch. Okay. Foodie is really in a mood today. Come this one gets hairy, this one's not. I don't know. Nor do I care to figure out the answer to that question. But the body is not symmetrical, so who knows? Could be anything. What makes your blood boil for me? Uh, the unmanaged diabetes. Hi, L5. Hey, L5. I'm going to try not to give you a heart attack today. Boil, crystallize, you know, it's all the same. Just ask Kennedy Davenport. I'm turning him off because he's making me mad. <laughs> okay. Um, but what so had I'm happened was... Because that's what I feel like doing. At crystallized. <laughs> <clears throat> My hair looks funny? Why? <laughs> Hold on, I got an idea. And this hat is one of my favorites. Did she say what happened to her elbow? There's a huge spruce. Here. I have not seen it. She might so just have dirty exhausting? elbows. Oh, yeah. Trust me, I know. Ah, uh, that would be the blood pressure you got. Yeah, <laughs> pack you up, right? <laughs> I was not quick on that. <laughs> People are watching you. Do you see the lengths he goes to to protect his image? Nils, hello. You know that you- Fabulous to see you today. Hope you're well. Good luck. <laughs> would look better? <laughs> Being honest, right? Like, are you actually going to tell? Like, <laughs> oh my God. Never again am I doing anything. Jen, thank you very much for the super chat. Jen says, I always love when Bobby says rip. <laughs> it's pretty apt, though. <laughs> thank you, Jen. Thank for this fucker. Seriously? You're going to disrespect disrespect me like that? Like, Oh, no. Old mate disrespecting you, foodie? What a surprise. Ca canonically, I think we're on break up 44 or 45 now. Never very been. good. Who else is keeping track? <laughs> the shit I fucking go through to make him happy, and he won't even fucking admit to like even having sex with me so that's why i put those dms there she is so mad she did put dms out didn't she i've got to pull those up okay i gotta tell all so angel angel horns wants to tell all angel horns really? that's a good Maybe one tell your uh your harem that's not really what you want because you're gonna look worse in this tell all than me you're gonna look a lot i think everybody's gonna look bad <laughs> in this tell all wait where did they go did she pull them down i think she pulled it down oh well whatever it's fine worse in this tell-all than me. You know it. That's why you keep threatening it, but never do it, right? Do it. Do the tell-all. Can you cut his service off? <laughs> no. Unfortunately. That was a long time ago. I did see that, Probably though. Playing right now. What kind of lipstick am I going to wear? See, the thing is, I'd read them out, but they're DMs between Old Mate and Foodie, and I'd just feel gross doing that. Right? <laughs> I want to do like a cute Instagram pictures. In short, like I don't think it actually proves anything. It's just, it's just Foodie being like, well, I need a stable relationship, and Old Mate not really recognizing any of that. Do you like my earrings? Okay. Oh, you guys oh, we got a bot early on. Oh, nice slutty. If you ever go back to him, I will truly lose my mind. Block, block. Liliana. Blockity block. If I go back to him, I will lose my mind, and a lot more. So. What died on my head? Don't you know anything about freaking French couture look? Chat, is anybody in the chat? Linda! <laughs> Linda, we've got a mention of a French couture look. Couture! More like couture. Um, <laughs> this hair. <laughs> this, this, this headpiece. <laughs> this. This <laughs> comfy couture. <laughs> I'm going for the French okay. model look today. <laughs> As a French, no. <laughs> Do you ever notice that like Parisian models look like little schoolboys sometimes? <laughs> the haircuts. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, okay, that's like wildly. Yes, all Parisian models have schoolboy haircuts, according to. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> can you guys do this shit on my days off sorry i don't plan this yeah it'd be nice if she was more thoughtful and considerate with just her bs going on 
<laughs> Very that Dr. Robot. Did you No. I, not really. I used to think he was sort of cute in uh, Gilbert Grape, but... All right, let's get drunk. And so it begins. Find your Moscato chat or do something productive. I don't know. Treadmill, baking, reading, learning, educating, yoga, just some self-care. Do whatever. Have some fun. Just, just, just try not to be like Fruity. <laughs> Please. The dolls are dolling, Pack. The dolls are dolling. Bro, you're gardening? Nice. Very you nice. just bought a bottle of Moscato or what? Get ready, Elle. It's bumpy. Pussycat wig. Nice, Brandon. Does it look better without a ponytail? Carl would never, Linda. <laughs> or maybe a half pony. I don't know, this wig just needs some treatment. It is starting to look a little more natural the dirtier it gets, but... What is he saying now? It needs saying? some texture. It's got some texture. It needs more. I don't, I'm not subscribed to him, so I have to search him. God. Is he walking right now? Oh, mate? Is that who you're looking for? I don't really care. Skip it. Context. That's all we need. We've got four hours of BS it. to get through. Watching Chantal put on mascara, I can... I've seen it. You know? See, this would be fine if you have a righteous reason, but you know you don't. An angel horns just wants attention for being contrary and the devil's advocate. Well, you're a moron, and you're going to look like a bigger moron. Okay. No other woman will do for him what you've done. <gasps> Absolutely really? not, and he's going to realize that. I hope you have a great night. He's a man who always has to be in control, so... <laughs> Okay, let me just order something from... Yay! The... Great, so she's ordering the weeds now. Skip it. You know what? I don't want to order anything. I'll just have a small piece of this. Full piece? Yeah, no. A small piece? Mint and coriander? I like mint and coriander, so... Plain cheeseburger! Now, forgive me if I'm incorrect, but I'm assuming that atomic wheelchair is gone by the end of the evening. Pete was not moving out because of Natter. Like, I know you guys don't believe that. Like, okay, honestly, that might, like, I triggered. One of the benefits would be, obviously, that I can, but I'm, I wasn't planning on living here. Like, I, I need to move out. Like, I can't stay here without Pete. Uh-huh. Oh, super chat. Sorry. Because she won't have someone to go and get her DoorDash. Andy, so he can't claim you because of what you said, but he can accept your money. Let you drive him everywhere. Take care of him, etc. You deserve better. Please do better for yourself. Exactly, Wendy. Exactly. Thank you. Oh, good. Good to know, Mel. Yeah, Thank you. I need you. to keep this in my head, but yeah. <laughs> it's a win, buddy. Oh, are you going to get liquor? Okay, we need to do a karaoke party, but I'm not bringing out then. Small win. Well, <laughs> it's a strange feeling. If you boyfriend, it would be all fine, though, right? No. I know plain cheese! Oh god. You tell me you're faithful, you're fucking whore, I don't need you anymore. <gasps> Gossip. I miss your pussy, stupid. Hmm. These are the DMs that she did put screenshots. Shops? Screenshots! <laughs> screenshots off of. Yes, didn't have any sex with me. Why would he want to even be around me? Like, what would be. If he's not getting it, he's getting cash. Which is honestly by the sounds of things, a better deal for him because he doesn't have to do the deed. Previously, he had to do the deed. Now he doesn't need to do the deed. He just gets the coin. Like, that's that's a better deal for him, I'd imagine. I, I don't, you know, I don't know how how the streets work in general, but, <laughs> but, but I imagine it's a better deal for him. Less work, more money. Really? You really don't think we had sex? I think they stopped sleeping together probably just before Windsor. Um, if we're if we're putting together a, a, <laughs> a canonical timeline, um, I think it was probably just before Windsor when they stopped sleeping together. Uh, and since then, Chantal's desperately been throwing money for um, attention and the sleeping, and that that hasn't been happening. But that's just what's happening in my head, Canon. 
doesn't necessarily mean it's true, and you don't need to listen to me, but... Carrot Butts, he did lift her up. He lifted all of Chantal off the ground, sky high. Do I need to put that screenshot? What a great film, by the way. <laughs> up again, Nader? What does I want your pussy mean? And Why didn't that show ever get it? I mean, that movie ever get a show? Why you meet people? Fuck you. Great. You're a whore. Sorry, back to Foodie. She's she's actually talking about things. Okay. Do I need to put that screenshot up again, Nader? What does I want your pussy mean? I miss your pussy, stupid. Hmm. Why you meet people? Fuck you. You're a whore. I didn't fuck anyone. Yes, you did. You live with a woman. How can you be mad at me? Fuck you. I will do what the fuck ever I want. I never love someone like you. You really fucking Cuba. Can you tell me you're faithful? You're fucking whore. I don't need you anymore. Oh, yeah. That sounds like someone who doesn't give a shit. Huh? Hmm. Personally, I think it's manipulation for the coin, but, you know, who knows? Is there a BJ option? That's love, but it That is some messed up kind of love. <laughs> I literally have all the screenshots from our messages showing that we've had sex, that you've told me you love me, so why are you lying? Is this gaslighting? <laughs> Is this gaslighting? It's not cheating and then goes to fuck Judy's Amazonian ass. Imagine having to, like, provide these receipts to your internet audience. Chantel, mate, you need to, like, figure something out. Because this is just too much. <laughs> too much. He acts upset and fixed fights so you'll make it up to him with money. It's a grift. Mm. It's always going to be a grift. Are these certainly bees? I don't know. I don't know about him being a grifter and all that shit, but he definitely thinks he's entitled to shit. Says the girl who believes Dee Dee and him don't have sex. Yeah, I did believe that. Like, grifting and scamming aside, do I believe that everything Chantal has told us points to old mate manipulating and taking advantage of the situation to secure the bag? Yeah. <laughs> like, you'd have to be, you'd have to be pretty out of, out of sorts to have understood what has happened in the last 12 months and not really clearly see the reasons why old mate hangs around. I guess I'm stupid. Everyone's sleeping together over there. And then he has like the nerve, the nerve to under not understand why I'm upset. The nerve, the nerve. He fully understands. He's just playing you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Stupid. What, Stacey? And she comes for people's intelligence all through today. So, like, it's just... Dr. Hagathon. I did believe that, yeah. Interesting. I don't know. Maybe she, I think she, I don't know. Maybe that's true. Okay, we can start skipping ahead now. Hate his smoky fingers and constant movement. I only supported him for you, Chantal. I love you. I know. And I, I feel bad asking you guys to, like... I know I come on here and I'm like, he's super abusive, he's super an asshole. And then I, like, shove him in your faces. It's mm -hmm. because that's how I am in real life. Like, I one minute hate him and one minute love him. And I wish things were perfect, and I wish things were good with us, but it's just never going to be, and it's just insanity at this point. And it pisses me off that he fucking lies. It makes me feel disrespected. No, he didn't, sweet vintage, though. <sighs> Plain cheese. 13 months! Skip it. Oop, oh, Greg. Greg. Thank you. Dee Dee acts like a virgin who could never get any dick. Now she has to be a homewrecker after getting just a sliver of penis. Have a shame, that's a good idea. The ponytail. Maybe. <laughs> side view? Hi, Sam. As if we don't already know most of the shit. Like, what is she gonna, like, the, everything makes him look so bad. Of course I'm gonna, like, if she, they're gonna show screenshots of me raging against him, mm. obviously I'm gonna be raging. What do you expect? What do you expect? Dumbasses. And she's like, you decide who did it. Who did what? Who did what? After the tell-all. What is she even talking about? Hi, Sam. That might be speaking to, like, Chantel's walking back of, like, some pretty consistently heavy adult topics um, that go with, he did it, he didn't do it, I've forgiven him for it, it never really happened, he's he's gonna move on from me, oh great, no, he definitely did it, let me go to the police, oh, a week later, let me walk it back because I want to see him again, oh no, but let me tell my audience that he, he really did do it and the case is there and I can't talk about it or see him until things happen and then the case is, like, kind of not taken up um, because of reasons, and now we're seeing each other again because it totally didn't happen, you guys. Oh no, but he has spurned me once again and it did happen. That's... That's as, like, concise as I can really lay out what had happened with all of those things. So... If you're wondering why your audience is confused or don't believe you, that would be why. 
plain cheese. It's yeah, I'm a chubby McShoes. McChubby McGoose. McChubby McShoes. I mean, fresh content, buddy. It's just. Jay of Cornwall, go fuck yourself, you stupid mental piece of shit. Get out of here. Chat, just a reminder, thank you very much for choosing to be here and watching these shenanigans along with me. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Thank you for being respectful, responsible, and shenanigans-filled adults. And I'm very glad that we have a healthy audience-creator relationship. Thank you for being here. Racist asshole. Tubby floofy moose! Look, <laughs> Jealous loser. Get out of here. Thank you for booping the snoot, Rachel. And hello. Good morning. Good morning, Gigi. Hello. Delta 8? No. NS, I don't get it. People people will eventually recognize that they don't need to pay Chantel to watch all of this go down, but... <gasps> uh, I know. We're wearing my dirty ass slippers. Okay. Actually, She's let me go still get... on about these slippers. These slippers were, like, done six months ago. <laughs> Moscato? Oh my God. And then let's recap. Let's recap. Chat, just a reminder, if any of you are getting super snuggly this evening, don't forget snipper snippers? Slippers. Keep warm. I hope you're watching. I hope she's watching. Are we doing a chin up? You could never for, some <laughs> for some reason I thought we were doing a chin up. <laughs> we're not doing a chin up. You can't even show your face on camera because you're so insecure. Uh-huh. Bye, foodie. Don't come back. She came back. He doesn't validate he doesn't do anything to validate my feelings. He doesn't do anything to make me feel better about anything so english language is winning out on me today l for sure can you sing it's all right oh brian i don't i don't even know that song i don't think i could sing a song i don't know he doesn't like hey me. deb good to see you go. so if he doesn't like me daily quick don't slippers. lie to me and tell me you love me and don't ask me for shit right otherwise you're gonna get this fucking attitude hey chantelle if you are now in the habit of raging out and showing receipts show the receipts where old mate has said i love you that should be pretty simple, right? Considering considering how easy it is for her to show how sexually interested Old Mate is in her, um, considering how easy it is allegedly for uh, Dee Dee to be able to show how like how just ragey she is in in the DMs. Like Foodie, just if if you want to shut your audience up about whether or not Old Mate has said he loves you or is sexually interested in you, they are two different things. Just a reminder. Um, you could just take a screenshot. Oh no, but I delete the messages. Do you? Because like you show screenshots every now and then, which is which is weird. I'm not particularly interested. I I specifically think he's probably said I love you to Chantel a couple of times to just like get that monthly paycheck across the line, allegedly. Uh, but like if you if you want to prove it, just prove it. Shouldn't be that hard, right? <laughs> summer piece. <laughs> this bot yeah, in the chat is wild. <laughs> wild. We need to have fun. We can meet up with the guy later, maybe. <laughs> sure can. Let's karaoke these. But we don't. Instead, we drink a whole heap of Moscato and stream for four hours, which we're going to watch. Well, he's not getting a fucking penny from me. <sighs> it's true, Al. She has a different opinion when it's her own, though. talking about him because it exposes him in general. Yeah. But he has to take responsibility. I'm sorry. You hurt me. It affected me. And it's coming out in this form. This is how I deal with my trauma. So if you don't like it, then don't do that shit to me. What do you want? Don't do it to me then. Again, just like a reminder to everyone, none of this needs to be public or broadcast or monetized. But it is. And so we're here. I'll stay away from you. You stay away from me. We're done. They're done. Chat. They're done. Mark your calendars. <laughs> they're done. Unless you feel like going online. And apologizing to me, I'm right, with you. Right, because you couldn't apologize in public, because, sorry, in private, because privacy doesn't exist in this corner of the internet for Chantal. I'm respecting myself from now on. Mm -hmm. I'm certainly not giving you any more of my, like, I'm fucking, like, what? Gonna go broke and bankrupt and fucking miserable because of you? Oh, Bella, that's a good point. That's a good point. There were previous, uh, previous screenshots, and I think that, I think, like, my thought on all of that was absolutely he will say whatever he needs to to, to no, make the coin, but just like this is not love. <laughs> this is not love. This is not it. This is not it at all. But good memory. Thank you, Bella. Oh, strawberry cheesecake, really? Nice boyfriend, eh? Well, Beep, if you, if you were to surmise how much 
Foodie has given Old Mate over the course of the time together. I would probably assume 2000 a month, just in general, because that kind of, like, balances out low months, kind of balances up, like, how much she may have bought and gifted him, see tracksuits or weed. Um, so, yeah, I'd probably say, like, maybe 25k? Maybe? Because it's over a month, uh, sorry, it's over a year now, so, I, yeah, probably 25 to 30k if you were going to put a number on it, but, I don't know. So, she's wild. Please. He wishes. Always leaving the window open for if he changes or apologizes, he won't. Samantha, yes, my calendar is very full. <laughs> yeah, he makes exactly curly. He makes it a point to be like, not my girlfriend. Instead of just brushing it off. Jenna, good point. The iPad Pro was 2K. Like, all of all of the fuel she would have burnt going between Montreal and her place. Like, all of the grocery trips. Again, all of the all of the Tommy Hilfiger. You know, it's a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? He makes it a point to be like, I don't Closer to it. 50K? Like, probably not wrong, Bex. So? I think 25 would be on the absolute low end. Oh, why am I going to associate with you one minute you tell me? Oh, but it, yeah, right. And didn't she, didn't, didn't she pay like a, a grand for like an eight ball and a half or something back, back in the, back, 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 back again in the, in the Coke era. Um, hate calling it that. Oh boy. Uh, but yeah, didn't she, didn't she pay like thousands of dollars? Anyway, cause it was super pure, you guys. It was so pure. Oh my God. It was the good stuff. God, I hate it here. Love it here. Hate it here. <laughs> hey, one minute you tell me you're fucking, you Oof. call me a fucking sexual assault online, and I'm gonna like claim you as my girlfriend. Wow. It's always about how he looks. It's never about the real problem. Oh, we're into Moscato. Nice. This wig looks stupid. Why? Yes. I don't like it. I think it looks nice. It needs to be brushed. I need to wash it too. Volume. Volume. Texture. Anyway. Thanks, Ageless. <laughs> yeah, we're going to start skipping because we've got... Oh, God. Anyway. <laughs> we got four hours worth of... Gato crash his scooter about a thousand times already. Great. Super funny. Love is weak, but my love is strong. Oh, my God. This is the bit. <laughs> hold on. Everyone, hold on to your butts. Hold on to your butts. We've got... Okay, it's here. It's here. Okay. <laughs> okay, everybody. Everyone, shh, 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 shh Calm down. <laughs> I gotta, gotta get to reality time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Alright, you want to hear my thing? Yes, I want to hear your thing. Past is the past. He's a good person. He's a bad person. I'm a bad person. I'm a good person. I'm so bad to you. You're so good to me. You're so bad to me. I'm so good to you. Forgive. Move on. Grow. Replace hate with love. 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 Love is delusional. Love is weak, but my love is strong. Your love is lazy and it's making me crazy. This is what happened. You think I'm a liar? <laughs> Baby, I'm on fire. I swear under oath, this man shows me growth. 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 Growth inside of me, from inside of you. Pass it back to me, baby. Let's do this again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again for the haters in the back and our lovers on the side. Let's say it again. Cool cat daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god you gotta laugh <laughs> you really gotta laugh ah, slapped <sighs> thank you Chantel <laughs> thank you I wrote this when we were going through this legal shit it's been helping me deal with stuff. <laughs> One hip cat, Rachel. <laughs> it does not make zero sense. <laughs> Put the Bjork backing on. <laughs> I'm such a loser. But it, she's got, I mean, she's got some, she's got some poetry, you know? <laughs> she's got a lot of it. Inside <laughs> Purple Aki. Why are you making me shout out everybody? I'm sorry, I'm Milk. Call <laughs> asshole after hearing that. <laughs> oh my god. 
allergic to starfish. He said that. He's like, I read him like my song. I'm like, did you like starfish? He's like, yeah, I'm going to write a song. I'm allergic to starfish. Baba Ganoush is my best dish. Okay, <laughs> skip it. That's all I wanted. <laughs> That's all I wanted. I'm shouting out Janet and Edward Stevenson. <laughs> nice, buddy. I think you need a dash well, that was in my between eyebrow pencil for Shushu's eyebrows. The slammer, though, just to just to Shoo. punch in that Shoo -shoo. lyrical. Shushu said the moon. <laughs> right, moon goddess. Hello, thank you for being here for fourteen months. Moon, moon says silver. Oh, Sylvia, Sylvia Plathamon too. <laughs> thank you for being here, mate. What a dumb fucking name. Shushu. <laughs> oh, am I being loud? Sorry, chat. Just overexcited. It's me. Chicken Linda. To a T. Read my lines. Oh, sorry. Wait, where are you, Che? With a cup of tea. Oh, no. Can't rhyme tea with tea. I'm the worst. <laughs> Master Ratchet says he's allergic to starfish. Look at his teeth. His eyes are tragic. He wants you to think he's sexy and fine. I'd rather be Frankenstein's bride. <laughs> che, I know how much you hate him. <laughs> Nancy, we're getting there. I'm sure of it. A lyrical like, watch my channel? He's like, no, nah, I'm not about to go tea. and check all that right now. But yeah, right, you are. <laughs> Uh, you dripped a bit. Yeah, okay. Good. How do you care how I feel about you? Oh, you, Curly? I don't care. What? I know you like me, Curly. I know you do. Jen, thank you for the super chat, mate. Jen guys. says, so you're working out at the gym while listening to this? How? Oh, mate, it's a, it's a bit of a, <laughs> it's a bit of a hassle. Sometimes <laughs> if I'm in the middle of a set and I just burst out laughing, it sucks. But um, I'm, I've learned to keep my composure while lifting the heavy things. It's a bit hard. <laughs> That's not what I want, these are juice. I don't want that. I can't do that to somebody. Maybe, but it. No license equals right. He drives a motorcycle. <laughs> he has a motorcycle license. Don't care about this. <laughs> don't care about Parker Bush. Oh, here's my car keys. Oh. I just as a per just because I'm stupid when I'm drunk. Okay. It's just a good idea to give him my keys. So much for. Um, hang on. Context, please, because that sounds a lot like uh something you might ask someone when you're getting drunk and or high. Hmm. For each of the cats, they get two annual visits. They get unlimited grooming, uh -huh. nail trimmings, and everything. So I'll just. She's have talking them. about this service that she's found online about a visiting vet. Them come in. I'll, like, I'll make an appointment for them to come in. Okay. I'm getting drunk. Oh, here's my car keys. I Did you all catch this? Yeah, Beth. Exactly. Hang on. Is Pete's taking your keys like old mate did? Like she's she's giving up her keys because she's drinking. Is there, like, is there anyone else? Seeing a similarity here. I just, as a per just because I'm stupid when I'm drunk, yeah. it's just a good idea to give him my keys. So much fun. I mean, that theory kind of checks out. Or, uh, uh, so much for me, buddy. Actually, the car almost stalled, so we can't make it. I don't know where my car keys are. Maybe they're downstairs. You have to find them. Yep. I'll hide them on me. Yep. I don't know where else. Is there a pink drink for me in the fridge? Oh, no, sorry. You didn't get any one? No, because I went, I, when I went to, Star no, but I went to Starbucks and then I went out, so it was going to melt. So just order yourself something if you want something. You. The drink was going to melt. Mm. Bastard. Sorry. I'm playing. I'm drinking and doing karaoke. Yep. Do you mind? No. You want to sing a song? A bag off Sam's head, I see. Yeah. There's Sam. A bag on Sam's head right now. There was. Oh, there was. Yeah, I took it off. It is no, interesting. Oh, it was around his head. Yeah. Okay. People are gonna be like, "You fucking." He finds bags. I don't know where he finds them. This one was in my room. Oh, okay. Just on the floor in my room. Okay. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I heard him. I heard him sneeze. And that's when he got my attention. I looked over. Yeah, he has a bag right around his head. <laughs> see. Just like the uh, the handle, right around his head. Hundred percent, no yes. He wasn't freaking out. He wasn't choking. He was just fine. He was like, yeah. "No, this this is intentional. I I I wanted to do this. No. This is a fashion statement. That's what this this is. A, this is a fashion statement." He's so dumb, like. Yeah. What? He's so cute and dumb. He's a cat. Yeah. Sorry, didn't uh, didn't care about anything that was being no. said there. Should I have? No, skip it. Okay, more music. Great, we're gonna start off this four hour drunken open live. Is everybody ready? Get a snack. What I'm going to do is, um, we're going to watch this thing in its, in its entirety, right? We're just, we're just doing a bit of a warm-up for that first hour. Oh boy, I'm going to need more tea. Um, for those of you who haven't seen where we ended up last night, th this is where we ended up. This is where we ended up after the last, the last, um, whew, the last four, well, the next four-hour stream. And I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to, I just wanted to, to, to show you. Mm -hmm. 
Not good. Not good at all. Um, and you'll understand why we got here. And I have, I have so much to say. Let's just get started. It's an open chat for right now, but you can, you have to subscribe at least. I miss some of you guys. Music. Skip ahead. Skip ahead. We're going to keep skipping ahead. We're just going to try all these wigs up. Uh-huh. The three minute rule. If there's singing, got to wait three minutes. There's more singing. Very good. Another three minutes. All right, cool. Now three minutes. <laughs> oh, then she goes away and then she's back. Uh, here. Uh-huh. It's more of it. Okay, great. Cool. More music. Very good. Skipping it. It's even more music. Chantelle is literally just playing karaoke today. No, oh, my eyes can see us. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Am I gonna sped up? I do. Uh huh. Yep. More of it. Very good. <laughs> oh, and then there's some dancing. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna let it happen. Just just put it on. It's fine. Uh, what do we got? We got this one. That's a pretty good one. Oh wait, I had a better one. Uh, it's this one, I think. I don't know if there's more music yet. Music? Dancing. No, we'll dance. Dance this. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Oh man. Got no energy. Uh, <laughs> Nancy, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Nancy says, Dear God, this is cringe and infuriating on so many levels. She's the worst, Nancy. <laughs> thank you very much for the super chat. It is, uh, she is not good today. Not good. I, I kind of walked through like my major frustrations at the start of the stream, um, but we get to it specifically towards the end of this one when she stops, well, when she eases up on the music. Um, yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Anyway, back to. You know what? All men say they don't like fat chicks. Okay, we're done with music for now. Well, hands in the air like we just don't care. Uh-huh. Okay, here we are. Men don't okay. like fat chicks, no ways, anyways. Very good. You know what? All men say they don't like fat chicks. Meet me outside. How about that? I'm fine. I'd rather not meet Chantel ever. Uh, specifically outside. Also, what a dated reference. But okay. No, go on. <laughs> go on, Chantel. <laughs> go on. I want to hear that song, Burn It Down Again. Fuck, I love that song. <laughs> God, she won't stop listening to that song. She's still high. She's still high. Oh, good. She's reacting to Old Mate. Good, great. Yeah, no. <laughs> Let's cover that. Does Matter defending me? Where is he? Who? Lovely to see you today. Hello. Thank you for the super chat. Who says, is she out of breath, breath from bouncing? Do you need me to answer that for you? <laughs> I think deep down you know. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, though. Uh, yes. Yes. In short, yes. He loves me. He just doesn't want to admit he's a fucking asshole. Just admit you love me. Sober. Fabulous to see you today. Thank you for the 13 months. Happy anniversary, plus one. Sober says, so grateful to be sober while watching this. 100% sober. I... Look. I... I had my time, I used to, I used to, so when I was like 18, um, which is the legal age for drinking here in Australia, also shout out to you for taking care of your health and yourself. Keep at it, mate. Thank you for being here. Um, when I was like 18, I, I fell into like a pretty, it was only like a year or two, but I fell into a pretty consistent cycle of like, let me go out drinking four nights a week and spend my entire paycheck on booze because I didn't moderation. I was not the queen of moderation then bit more now. Um, but no, I, yeah, I spent a couple of years not like in the party scene, you know, bit of, uh, too much imbibement. There it is again. Um, and so I'm very thankful that, that, that didn't continue for me through adulthood because I, I don't know, 
like I don't know. I had my own I had my own vices and my own addictions outside of all of that. Um, but specifically, living that type of lifestyle was really hard. So I think anybody who can who can pull themselves into anybody who has to handle those demons like themselves is like that's a struggle that is an individual thing, right? Um, and anybody who can like who can go through all of that and come out. And, and come out of it like has my utmost respect like everybody has my respect but has my utmost respect because that is that is a struggle you know so but thank you for being here um back to Chantal and uh lots of Moscato yeah. also reach out thank why you Linda you... that's a, a, the perfect message yes admit it why are you so ashamed to love me if you don't want to be wrong you're fucking that's not <laughs> yeah don't don't take things the way that Chantal does and think that like reaching out is is too much effort or too much work because it's not because it's your like it's your life you know so and you deserve a good life so reach out find help seek help do all of those things thank you Linda, for the reminder. so busy mm. what do you think that means because somebody who's had experience you hide. Well, i know that you get other ones in your heart. oh god okay so old mate was reacting to ffg and now chantelle's watching it and i oof. he does give me just oh no, it's all over. Did you catch that? Ooh, what that happened? I fucking hate you because I like, fucking yesterday. So what? Me who had plenty of experience with this. Wanted, this is, day, this is it, like reacting to someone, reacting to someone else, discussing someone else is like messy. This is messy. No, mess, no, mess, no, mess, no, mess. No, no, no. If you catch this, why you make it like you're fucking this is the end of the world? She, she, she's, she's still high. Too. Oh my goodness. Somebody was smoked yesterday or she take audible and stay high. Yeah. She did it too? Oh my god. Messy, tappy. Yes, 100%. That's the perfect word for it. This is good life. Because I'm very... very people BB, good morning. Other people are different between this and this. But she's good still. And, um, as a people's back. I actually can't stand old mate, period. Business, or not. She's enjoying the content. Yes. Do you want to give me a fuck? Yeah. Shut up, you fucking sanctimonious bitch. Uh-oh. Sanctimonious bitch. Are you for real? You probably do crack every day. You come on here with your pigtails hoping it makes you look so cute. You'll remember when when Foodie was sitting behind the wheel of a car sucking on a THC vape. Do you we collectively we can remember that. But no, please continue, Foodie. Go. Go on. Go on. Or off, whatever. I think Santa knew that too, and everybody here knew that too. I'm looking at and I know that too. So chaotic, girl. I can't look at him. He's too fucking beautiful. <laughs> <sighs> okay, to you, foodie. It, the, the eye of the beholder. You know all of that. I've never been so attracted to a man in my life. Oh no, foodie! Oh. Please take it away. God help me. This video from last year. He's reacting to because he won't react to anything about himself because he's a YouTube. <laughs> I hate all of you people. God, you're a loser. He's not you guys are great. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for choosing Poppy Airlines. Crack it. He doesn't do crack. And he's hot. Shut up. Didn't you call him a speed addict at some point, Chantal? That was on you. That was that was you, the person who's allegedly in love with him. You called him a speed addict. So, okay, cool. Great. Just clarify. He's an asshole, but he's hot. <laughs> uh, I feel down. I feel no. down. I feel down. I feel down. Jackie, thank you very much for the super chat, mate. I appreciate it. Jackie says, hi, Poppy. Thanks for streaming today. Wanted to give you a trigger warning for everyone sensitive to gun violence. Yes. If you are, skip this one. It's bad. Yes, Jackie. Thank you for the thank you for the message and for the super chat. I appreciate it. A reminder to everybody, um, Chantel continues the discussion surrounding pumped up kicks, continues to berate her American audience um, as if somehow a tragedy is their individual fault. <sighs> She's the worst. Um... She kind of uh, makes very light of a very serious uh, talking point and discussion while drunk, not great, uh, and then continues to argue that she's being satirical and ironic, and then continues to sing and listen to Pumped Up Kicks while making finger guns at the camera, which... Uh, that reads bad. Like, objectively bad. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see my thoughts on Foodie Beauty and the entire stream of what I caught today, feel free to catch the start of, of this live, because um, she's just bad. Mm. Okay, listen. Okay, but you have to admit, guys, put your thoughts, put your feelings about Natalie. Ivana, hello. Thank you for joining the channel as a member, my friend. I appreciate it. Welcome 
to pop stuff. Her side. She just gave me shit for my lifestyle choices and she has no neck either. Okay? Okay? So why why do you like her more than me? I'm cooler. What's your problem? Look, I don't like Foodie because she's trash, garbage, insensitive, hateful, bigoted, and a person that I never want to be in so many ways. And it's not that I hate her, it's just that actively it's frustrating to imagine people like this exist out there. And even more frustrating to think that people like this exist out there who can create a spectacle of themselves on the internet for money and live a relatively repercussion-free life. Frustrating. Not hate. Fuck hate. Don't hate. Just like, never want someone like this in my life. Never want to be anything like this. And it started out with, I could see similarities in like her relationship with food, but this mess of a life, mm-mm, no ma'am. Fuck is your problem? Krusty Starfish, I don't care if he has crooked teeth. Everything else about him is straight. His dick is fucking hard and long. That's all I care about. <sighs> I need a bucket. <laughs> and honestly, I won't be sleeping with him anymore because he doesn't apologize to me for being mean to me. And until he apologizes to me, I will not be seeing him ever again. Him and Didi both. I want to hear. I'm sorry. She is not a, a queen, you stupid HD loser. <laughs> fight me. Come fight me. Bring it on. Is this inciting violence? Like, this would probably be a breach of terms of um, community guidelines. Is this, is what we are watching right now, Foodie Beauty inciting violence in her chat? Maybe. She is not a, a queen, you stupid HD loser. Fight me. Come fight me. Bring it on. Thank you. Cash me outside. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> See, when I make a dated reference, it's charming. <laughs> But I'm old, so. <laughs> I'm the queen, Vera. You better. That's right. I hate her, but she's <laughs> fucking with your head. He's fucking with your head. Triggered Andy, I know. That's why I'm not going to give in to him. Don't you worry until he goes online and says, I love Chantal. I'm not seeing him ever again. He can dry his little way by doing these little things with FFG. No, you need to come live and you need to say, I love you. Okay, if you cannot physically say, I love you on live, the only way I'll ever, ever talk to you is anything. <laughs> Prove it. If you, the next thing you make on live stream is falafel, is, is, no. If the next thing you make on live stream is vermicelli, then you'll love me. <laughs> <laughs> These two fucking idiots. Sorry. Sorry, chat. This is just getting, getting too much. <laughs> Nancy, thank you again for the super chat, my friend. Nancy says, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, she is a bad person who likes to make a mockery of things for profit and gain. The prosecution rests. That's really all that needs to be said, Nancy. And I think that, like, anybody who hasn't recognized that by now, should. <laughs> like, specifically today's stream, she is an individual who takes shock or trash and spectacle to the next level um, for, for, for her own benefit. Like, that's what, she, that's what she does. That's what she does. She's insensitive and hateful about it. Like, that's who, that's, that's, that's what's going on on this channel, you know? Thank you again for the super chat, though. Uh, Cringe, lovely to see you today. Thank you for the super chat, and I hope you're well. Cringe says, she's breaking terms of service, though, while acting like a mess. Yeah, well, I agree. Like, inc inciting, inciting your audience in such a way, I think, is probably verging on a breach of terms of service. Um, we've been over, like, the, the levels of intox... Like, the discussion around intoxication, drug use, and inebriation and things like that. I'll probably need a little bit of a, a, a refresh, um, on the specific verbiage of all of that. But, like, I don't know, in my opinion, this is all... This is all pretty, like, just bad. I don't know, like, I, I don't know if YouTube's like, is this okay to be on this platform? Probably not. <laughs> Like, probably not. What's the repercussion from it? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but we'll see, I guess. But thank you for the Super Chat cringe. Fabulous to see you. And who? Thank you for the Super Chat. Who says, how scared would she be if someone knocked on her door? Did she forget she talks to herself? Um, I, I honestly wouldn't have been surprised if there was a welfare check after today because there was a lot of conversation happening after this, this stream. Um, I hope those resources didn't go to waste to check on someone who was just high as butts, super drunk and being hateful. But, you know, I'll keep that opinion to myself maybe <laughs> but thank you me you said pete's dick was bigger pete's dick is not bigger i was saying that sorry who she's got me in a tiz <laughs> pizza's dick is not as long as natter's oh my god stop it <laughs> what i like about natter's is his penis head it's very very large <laughs> it's a beautiful wiener 
When he sent me his picture of himself naked on Plenty of Fish, he was like this, in a mirror. That's why I know the dick you have online is not his. It was... When he had more weight on him, when he's stressed out, he doesn't eat and he loses weight. But whenever he's healthy, he's the sexiest fucking body I've ever seen in my life. And I... I hate this. <laughs> I hate this so much. I, <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> oh, I forgot where we were, and now we're here. <laughs> uh, no, please. <laughs> don't go on, but... I know, I know you hate him and you think he's abusive. He's I'm sorry, Quacky. Sure, he's so hot. Even, even FFG called her fucking abusive boyfriend hot. So don't give me shit. Come in here right now, FFG. Admit what it. the fuck does any... No, none of this has anything to do with anything. I hate it. Said your fucking abusive man was hot. So you understand where I'm coming from. Please say that on your fucking live stream so people don't hate me. Please make them understand how you can still be attracted to someone who fucking hurts you. I fully acknowledge and recognize that Foodie is still sexually attractive to old mate, regardless of anything that he does. Everybody recognizes that. But, like, you are actively putting yourself into what you have noted as a dangerous situation and benefiting from it by making a spectacle of all of it. Chantal, that's what you're doing. That's the, that's the major issue people have with you. Because it's not you privately having a conversation with someone and being like, yeah, well, I went back to him, I made a mistake. Like, that's not it. It's it's publicly broadcasting all of it, crying on the internet that, oh, boo-hoo, woe is me, these things have happened to me, and not learning your lesson for after the 43rd time. It's, this is nonsense. Get some fucking help. Um, Lara, thank you for being here for three months, mate. I appreciate it. Lara says, I appreciate this wonderful community. I appreciate you. And I'm sure chat appreciates you, Laura. Thank you very much for the kind words and for being here for three months. Appreciate it. Okay. Mind you, Nader never did hurt me. The, like, did you live with your man? I don't know what you're talking about. It's true, Lottie. I don't get it. It's not the same. I'm not comparing your ex to Nader because it wasn't the same. You know, I'm sorry that happened to you. I really am. I don't wish that that would happen to you at all. But that never happened to sorry, me. Sorry, Nancy. Now we all know. <laughs> Rhoda! What are you doing here? I mean, I'm, I'm just glad we've moved on from the discussion of, like, Natty's knobs. We can just... We can just, well, not, not, but it's singular. Shut up, Zach. Move on. <laughs> don't bring it up again. <laughs> oh, God, shut up! You know some guys don't know whether or not, like, they don't, you know how some men are pushy, you know? And you've got to wonder, like, I'm like, is he, was he just being really pushy or what? And that's what I felt it was. Just being pushy. And maybe it's not right. A reminder, consent is necessary and sexy. But I don't want to put him in jail. You know, he's not a bad, bad, bad person. I mean. <laughs> DV, SA, confinement. Not a bad person. Hate it. Hate it here. He's a friggin' hot guy. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, God. Great. More singing. Skip it. There? Let's see. He did, T. You're right. More dancing. Very good. Why do you pay this beast? I abuse my vanity. <laughs> All right, let's just break this down, bitch. How do, what? Why shouldn't someone support me? Huh? She's a bad person. <laughs> I know. What more do you want? <laughs> Why should you not support Foodie Beauty? Well, she's toxic. She's trash. She's probably going to call you out and hate on you. She's probably going to use her money for, like, things... Well, you know what? She's going to she's gonna use her money however she wants. And if you're okay with that, then that's on you. Whatever. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I, <laughs> reasons what... Here's more. Here's a better way of phrasing the question. Why would you choose not to, f to support Foodie Beauty? I don't like her. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't like her. <laughs> That's why I would choose not to support Foodie Beauty. Now, just because I'm not ass patting her and, and giving away, giving money to her, um, doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean that I'm trying to, like, not help. No. He, what am I trying to say? Neutrality, right? <laughs> like, me, me doing anything, not actively participating in Foobie, Foobies. Foobies reality. Damn it. <laughs> just here to watch my stories. Inspired and motivated never to be this person. And also, like, just not, not just, just, I don't think she's great. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I think you need to change your diaper. Nolly Cat, you're just jealous. 
I have a nice fucking ass. Ask Madder why he can't stay away from it for more than five minutes. Oh, how many times you want to fuck? How many times you want to fuck? Sorry, troll Zach, just for a moment. Nolly Cat, you're just jealous. I have a nice fucking ass. Ask Madder why he can't stay away from it for more than five minutes. Oh. How many times you wanna fuck? How many times you wanna fuck? Sorry, I had to I had to just go and get my bucket. <laughs> I had to I had to get my bucket. <laughs> Cause this is fucked. <laughs> this is so messed up. Oh my god, I hate it. <laughs> can we just keep this private, foodie? Just... Can we... Can we just not? Can we just not? Can we keep these thoughts on the inside and maybe not have these conversations with our audience? Oh my god! Uh... <laughs> Chad, I'm just... I... I just need to, like, lighten the mood. <laughs> You know, because I can't keep my dick out of you. Ah! Oh God! Why? <laughs> I do not. Hathor, I'm sorry if this is ruining your breakfast or dinner. I'm sorry. I hate it. I hate it so much. I was thinking, no, she's definitely gonna stop talking about it now. Nope. <laughs> right back. Awful. I'm so gross. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> yeah, black cats. We, if we need bucket buckets for everyone, this is just. Oh god. We could keep all of this discussion offline. Why did we choose to do this? Planets, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Planet says, please God, bring the singing back. Yeah, what would I prefer, like, the the um, poetic Chantal or Chantal talking about the intimate moments between her and old mate? Poetic Chantal, please, anytime. Less of a person, because I can't walk. Okay, we'll stop singing now. Very good, thank God. Thank God, thank God. Yeah, sorry about, you know, um... Who are we talking to? I was on my phone. Really? I'm a piece of shit? Natty said he... Why is she mad? <laughs> okay, we found it. She's really making people work today. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, who did I miss you? Sorry, mate. Um, who? Thank you for the super chat. Who says better question? Why would you support her? I mean, that is a that is a better question. I, <sighs> I, I don't know why you would actively choose to support... You, like, you must not know a lot of what is going on with Foodie to be just actively supporting her, I guess. What And what... You know what? I'm glad that we're not talking about, like, Pride and all of that, but that was literally two days ago, and now we ended up here, and... God damn. God damn. What was this? I'm gonna slap my court. Your what? Who's Tim? Hi. Katie, I'm sorry. Um, this number was on my phone. You sleep well when you get there, though. Who are we talking to? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot to let you know. Um, I'm sorry. I'm no longer going to be moving. She said in an earlier stream today that she already spoke to the, the apartment people and told them that she wasn't going to. Is this legit? You reckon this is legit? Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Have a good night. Yeah, Bye-bye. Another apartment I got approved for. Wow. <laughs> Can I see you later? Are you in Ottawa? I'm in Ottawa, baby. <laughs> Gosh, she's really juggling things, hey? She's like, she's trying to talk to old mate, talking to other other dudes, apparently. Trying to organize the cancellation of apartments. <laughs> and being awful. Great. <laughs> Can I see you later? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm not going to drive anywhere. Thank God. You did ask Pete to hold your keys, by the way. Just a reminder for 
Maybe maybe Foodie will wake up and need reminding on where her keys are. Uh, Nancy, thanks again for the super chat, mate. Nancy says, oh, how I long for the days when she would just go to the ER for eating too much cheese. Oh, my God. The good old days, am I right, Zach? A hundred percent, Nancy. Like, I, I have been... It's not that I've necessarily been pining for, but it's really just a, like... Not even nostalgia. It's just, wouldn't it be better? You know? It would be so much better if Chantel went to the ER and, like... Ooh, bug. <laughs> um, it would be so much better if Chantel went to the ER, or better, even better yet, her doctor and therapist, um, to, like, maybe take her health seriously instead of just getting drunk every night for a week, singing Pumped Up Kicks and making finger guns at the chat. That would be great. I would, I would, I would highly, re highly, highly appreciate... Um, just not doing what she's doing, Nancy. Yes. Are you kidding me? Never. But you didn't have to stoop so low. Bitch, let me see you walk. Wait, you think I'm less of a person because I can't walk as far as you? Fuck, bitch. I'll walk two steps and be more of the woman than you'll ever be. Suck my left gunt. Ha! Huh. What did he say about me? Where is he? It's really moments like that that make me appreciate Pastor Zach taking his health seriously because... Yeah, lifting's fun. Natty daddy, where the fuck are you? You want to say something to me? Say it to my fucking face. You're always big on your fucking camera. <sighs> oh, periodically, she's trying to get in touch with old mate through this, by the way. Fun. Hey. Are you, react are you reacting to me? Uh, fuck face. What? Fuck face. Yeah, but somebody said you're reacting to you, asshole. You're reacting to me. I'm not reacting to you. I'm not reacting to you, I'm like, fuck this. Oh. And who gives a fuck if I left you? I care. Mm -hmm. You have no a reason to be mean to me. Yeah. Mm. What do you have to be mean to me about? Hmm? Mm. Oh. Mm. Say you love me. Where's my thumbnail? Ah, the loving couple. <laughs> I'm drunk and I'm live, I gotta go. <laughs> she Put my thumbnail. Put my thumbnail. Put my... <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh, Akira. <laughs> Sorry, chat. I couldn't hold that one in. She's just. She's just got a way. She's got a way about her that I just. You know. This. She. Put my thumbnail. With my thumbnail. With my thumbnail. <laughs> oh god, I hate it. But you know what? You gotta take the giggles where you can. <laughs> I don't know if I'm not. She really did, our lady. She has. Her content has real really I know. shifted. Right, Liliana? Well, tell him he's rude to me. He should be nice. I'm gonna tell him that. Oh, well, thanks, Jackie. I don't think it does, Pac. I, I mean, I'm entirely ignorant, but I don't think it does. Uh, who? Thanks again for the super chat, mate. Who says, behold, the beautiful, confident boss B. <laughs> Is she calling him back again? You fucker. Oh, what? I have you on speaker. <laughs> Hi. Are you going to tell everybody that you really like me or what? Oh, you're fucking stupid idiots. What? <laughs> I don't know, this is giving me big, like, knock, 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 I'm here to collect my CPAP. Energy. Again. See? This is what he says to me all the time. Car Cara, you put it perfectly. Cara said she's so annoying. <laughs> she is! Surprise! Every time I say, do you love me? Why are you fucking stupid, you idiot? Why are you fucking stupid, you idiot? Because you don't tell me you love me! I don't think he loves you! <laughs> I don't think he loves you! <laughs> that would be why he's not saying it! You moron! <laughs> uh, <laughs> breathe, Zach. Breathe. Now you're just somebody that you can No! No, 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 no. You keep ruining the... the... When he touches me, I just melt. No. <laughs> I need context. <laughs> this entire stream is nope and context. I love her so much. 
No matter how bad it got with us, I still love him. I love him a lot. Don't let her ruin songs for you, by the way, chat. Take that power back. Warren, I still love him. I love him so much. Okay. I know he doesn't care. And I know he thinks I'm crazy. And I know you think I'm all crazy. And I know you don't understand, but I do. I love him. Bro. When he touches me, I just melt. And I wish I didn't love him. I wish I never met him. I wish I never met him. I wish I never met him. You could just, like, stop going to see him. Be a good start. Because he fucked my life. Um, but Chantel, sorry, dear. But there were two players in that game, I feel. I fucked his life. And I f we fucked each other's life. But I love him so much. I <laughs> love him a lot. Sorry, L. I wish things were different. I wish he loved me the way I love him. We'll relive it together, though. <laughs> I wish. Yeah, her life was filled with choices, Milk. Shut up, 3R! I'm suffering inside! <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to lean into, but I'm suffering! <laughs> but I couldn't help but laugh. And it's not necessarily because of the situation, but she's a goddamn fool. Was that, that, was, that was pretty snobbish. I should rein it in. I do not drive high. Yeah, you do. Listen. Allegedly. I take that very seriously. Do you? In my past, I have driven... I smoked and drove in my past as a kid, yeah. You also smoke and drove on that live stream that we were all privy to. But now, after seeing that case about that woman who died, I will never. Pete's will take my keys every time I start smoking or drinking. As you see... That's weird, because this is literally the first time we've ever seen that, and we've been seeing you drinking all week and smoking mm, ad infinum it feels, at least six months, maybe nine months. And this is really the first time we've seen that because it's really the first time that we caught it because, you know, the confinement was a whole thing. Seen him do. He will take my keys. Uh-huh. He hates you. He called you a piece of shit. You know who? Dude, move on. Get a grip. Why do you hate me for loving him? It's not my fault. I can't help it. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you could, like, work on yourself. Stop it. Uh, Zach Sassy Beard, fabulous to see you today. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Beard says, I love you so much, but where's my thumbnail, bro? <laughs> where's my thumbnail? <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Sassy. I do. Because he's so good looking. Uh... No, nothing else. Just, I love him because he's so good looking. Okay. Great. Cool. That makes sense. The, it's a fucking Disney love story up in here. <laughs> he's so hot. He's so hot! <laughs> fucking nonsense. <laughs> I love him so much. I can't live without him. It's like I can't breathe. I need to write down this poetry. Oh, yeah? He must have, like, a great personality. Or, like, no, he's just so hot, you guys! <laughs> Sorry. You, you, look, the nonsense. You do have to laugh at it. <laughs> and you're so good in bed, like... <laughs> never been sexed like that before. <laughs> Which is why I can't... Okay, it's like dumb, it's like dumb, you know? No. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. Sassy, thank you again for the super chat. <laughs> Just say you love me. Sassy Beard, I love you. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. And Juliet, thank you for the super chat, Juliet. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. Mean voice chat. You're great. And this was terrible. <laughs> That's all. Juliet, thank you for the message and for the super chat. I appreciate it. And I'm sure chat appreciates it as well. Thank you for being here. Um, Oceana, fabulous to see you this morning. Thank you for the super chat. Oceana says, hello, sweet man. Thank you for being our life. Thank you for being here. Um, and thank you for the message and the super chat, Oceana. And that's a shout out to everybody in this chat. Thank you all for... for for keeping it light. Chantel's topics are never, like, are rarely easy at this moment in time, and we've all kind of grown into the expectation that, like, Chantel's nonsense will just, like, be hard for some people to, to listen to. Chantel don't, don't give a hell, um, but I, I always think that if if a day is too hard and you need to step away, that's fine, we'll catch up about it, it's not a problem. Um, but... Yeah, I certainly think that over the last couple of months, I've grown, like, 
a relatively like a thick skin might not be the appropriate sentiment because like I feel like there's so much nonsense um, and she pe- speaks so poorly on so many topics that you really just do have to find like the levity in between. It's like, yeah, diamonds in the rough, you know, just, just find the giggles because it's nonsense and she's awful. <laughs> but thank you again, Oceana. Akira, welcome to the channel as a member. I appreciate it. Welcome to Popster. Uh, Oceana, welcome back as the channel member. I appreciate it. And Sassy Beard, again, thank you for the super chat. That's very kind, not at all required. Sassy says, see guys, I told you he loves me. <laughs> I do love my sassy beard. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, though, my friend. I don't mind abusive, you know. But, but desensitized, yeah. Lucy. That's the perfect word. It is very much desensitized, and it's also kind of, for me at least, it's it's there are still moments of nonsense and shenanigans that like is the whole. It's my whole shtick, you know. I I I just just love that. Um, but it's important, obviously, to to speak out about like the toxic BS that she spews, but also try to minimize the impact, you know. Perfect words, Lucy. Before, which is why I can't. Okay, it's like dom. It's like dom, you know. So it's like borderline abusive, you know. Okay, okay. unhealthy, uh, entirely an unhealthy topic. Just a reminder that just because, like, if <sighs> this doesn't need explaining, dominant and submissive relationships are built on a foundation of respect and health and communication and trust. Um, and what they had going on was not that. Chantel's continuation of calling this dude Dom, I hate it, it's garbage, it's not appropriate or apt, it is um, abusive from where I see things, and not not the T Christine, that. So for anyone who may not... I mean, I know there are a lot of very knowledgeable, very experienced people, um, but for anybody who thinks that this is what a, a dominant, submissive relationship looks like, no, it's not. Period. But uh, I don't know if I like it or not. I do love him a lot. I do love him yeah, a lot. Yeah, where's the aftercare? Show me the, like, where's, where's respect? Where's com- healthy communication? Like, like everything I see out of this relationship is abusive, I think. But, but okay. But, but I can't stand him for more than two days. No ways, Rum. Do you understand what I'm going through or no? Pete, I'm not trying to make a milk of SA and DVU. Jesus Christ, milk. It's like borderline for me. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm just confused. He's not capable of loving or respecting anyone. He did call you a piece of shit. You called me a piece of shit? What? Did she watch that five-hour stream of him reacting to her BS? Because I'm pretty sure he called her all sorts of things there. And yet she giggles when she calls him. This is messed up. That's what this is. Blech. Yeah, Lara, just... she, she calls old mate and Dee Dee both pieces of shit on the pretty regular. Sorry that you called me a piece of shit. No, I'm not going to call the police, but it hurts my feelings. No, I'm not going to call the police, but it hurts my feelings. Do you think he actually picked up or Chantel's putting this all on? Because we do know she um really leans into that. Ding! Hmm, maybe. I can kind of hear something on the other line, so maybe. What? But it is uh, very telling that I would question that, isn't it? Yeah. Why would you say that? Yeah, no, that's fair, Milk. Scream into the void along with us. How can you say that about somebody you love? What? Go take your medication. Fuck you. Go what? take your medication, fuck you? That unsub to me, I deserve it. Throw tomatoes at me. I'm a fucking loser. Fuck you. You hung up on me. I'll never talk to you ever again. This is a promise. If I ever talk to him again, you can hate me. Don't unsubscribe yet. Mark your calendars, chat. She's giving you a- approval. Guys, what do you mean she do- he doesn't love her? What do you mean? Is this not... Is she not Ariel? Hello. You told me to go take my medication? What would you say? Huh? My medication? 
had feedback on his line. Not sure if that's the FFG reaction he's listening to or if he's now listening to her live. Don't really care either way, but just a curious little blip of audio. Why are you taking it today? Why don't you, you have to admit the people you love me. Why don't you, you have to admit the people you love me. Okay, no, she, he is watching her directly because I can fucking hear it. My God, these two people. <laughs> I, hate, I hate it so much. Chat, this is just a shout out. If you find yourself in a relationship with someone and communication isn't great, Take a, take a moment, take a step back, recognize it, and just, like, learn to talk with one another. Find, like, especially with new relationships, find find good, healthy ways to communicate with one another because that builds a really strong bond of, of, of trust. Specifically, um, I understand doing it in, in written format is often very different to um, verbal format, but as, a, as, 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 you know, healthy relationships grow, um, you should learn to to be a little bit more trusting and open and be able to be more forthright in the words that come out of your mouth not just the words that you type out um this this watching each other on a live stream and then having discussions about what you were watching this is some garbage mama this is this is piss poor communication if i've ever seen it um oceana thank you for, again for the super chat my friend oceana says we need a new word toxic isn't enough corrosive is a pretty good word i mean toxic it's in the same vein. I'm just trying to think of um, of Captain Planet villains <laughs> and their names. Foodie, <laughs> foodie, I could see Foodie as a Captain Planet <laughs> villain. Corrosive, I, I like corrosive because it just eats. So like this relationship is just eating away at everything, and it's just awful. <laughs> Rancid Am, that's a good one. That's a really good one. That's why I'm saying take a vacation. You don't believe me, and now people believe me. Go take a vacation. <laughs> this is rotted. Garbage, mama. It's garbage. <laughs> He's so full of you. You know what? The motorcycle guy messaged me. Mm. Did he? Mm. How, how, what, a, what a coincidence. How convenient. Okay, meet you at your place tonight. I'm done work at 8.30. I don't know, man. This is jumping between like happy giggles and, and and like flirty times and tears, and I hate everything about it. Jenny, thank you for the super chat. Fabulous to see you today. Jenny says Tim Curry Fern Gully. <laughs> oh my god, what a reference, Jenny! Thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Look, yeah, I would. I do not want to ever like link Chantel and Tim Curry because Tim Curry is a, is an icon star, just incredible character actor and, and person um and yeah no i don't necessarily want to link those two up specifically in fern gully i actually legit feel mental health shamed how this is nonsense <laughs> I'm so drunk. right Nonsense. I'm so unlikable right now, but I'm being serious. She's unlikable 24-7. Anybody who can't see that must be new. Like, you fucking hung up on me, and you don't even give a fuck about my feelings. That's the whole problem. You never did. He doesn't like you. <laughs> you know what? You and Ooh, crazy. insidious. That's a good word, buddy. Because I look right now and I'm unstable, I'm still more honest than him. You're a fucking liar. You know you are. You know I have all our conversation. Like, I can easily show everybody that you said you love me. So you... Why the fuck? Like, seriously... Show it. I mean, you showed it once before, but, like, the, the question isn't that... Everybody's honesty is called into question. Because here's the thing. Audience members, what's our vested interest? We're just watching. Like, we don't care. This is their lives. They're the ones who have to live it. This is just shenanigans. Um, but we have... We, we don't necessarily... Like... Who cares? Who cares whether or not they say they we love each other? Who ca like no one believes it because no one believes any of you. Like <laughs> Dee Dee could come online and be like, "Oh, guys, it was all a, it was all a play. I was just trying to like." No one would be no one believes anyone in this situation, and I think rightly so because there's just like no man. Um, Black cats, thank you for the super chats. Fabulous to see you today. Black says. He's been telling her he doesn't care for her in every possible way, but he loves me. She, she, I honestly think she thinks that he loves me is because he keeps coming back and securing the bag. That's like, she, she doesn't have a, she doesn't have a, a concept of love that is on the same like level as most people, I think, you know, but anyway, back to foodie. Seriously? 
You think you're gonna find Hunter and better than me? Why don't you just go on live right right now and fucking stop lying? Like like why is it gonna be about hotness? <laughs> Please, I hate this guy. Correct, Rumham, a hundred percent. I want to kiss people. I want to make out with somebody. <laughs> Fuck you. Nope, she's waking up with the biggest hangover. Like, she will probably. Be, uh... Oh god, she'll probably be up at like three p.m. Uh, let's skip ahead a little bit. See where we get to. More tears. Very good. It sucks to love somebody who doesn't love you. Uh -huh. <laughs> it sucks so it's bad. unrequited love. I told you all it was a Disney story. Bad. <laughs> Kayla, surprise. She's been drinking quite a bit this week. This would be more believable if you remember not to keep grinning. I'm really hammered. He did say he loved me, but I don't believe him. I'm a fucking liar. I love a fucking liar. <laughs> oh, I'm tired of <laughs> this storyline. Move on, find someone different. We're all bored. <sighs> Again, that might seem rude and what, but no, you all know. You all know the tea, Christine. <laughs> Would have done anything for him. <laughs> I mean, if you don't love me, can you at least let me be happy with her more, for Naeem? <laughs> Is she talking about old mate's brothers? That's fucked. I mean, if you can't love me, maybe your brothers can. <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> That's fucked. My God. Frank! <laughs> Frank, I hope you're out there doing well, mate. Like, you... You dodged it. <laughs> you really did. And Nick both. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Jackie. Hold on, wait. I think I've got some music for this. You don't understand. I did nothing but love this man. Nothing. I talk about him, but only because he hurt me. Just get that. Just get it. Oh, maybe I should read you your song again. Maybe I should read you your fucking song. <laughs> Past is the path. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh wait, is she singing? What is this song? The past. He's a good person. He's a bad person. I'm a bad is she? I think she's learning. Oh no, wait, she's sing she's she's singing it over more copywritten music. No, never mind. <laughs> I was thinking she was like, yeah, she's pulled up a track from from the YouTube audio library. She's doing the thing as a streamer. No, <laughs> no, no. We don't need to hear the poetry again. Oh god, we don't need to hear that either. Skip it. Uh huh. Skip it. I tried! Hold on, wait, I just want to see what happens here. Oh, no, she's a lip sync queen. I, I too feel so emotional, baby. Okay. <laughs> Skipping ahead. This is nonsense. Uh, back to unmute. Nope. More songs. She has been listening to this song on repeat. For days. See, that's the thing. It's like the the community guidelines, terms of service, and like, I don't know, mate. <laughs> the amount, pardon me. Oh, um, the amount of songs that are now like linking in my mind to Foodie Beauty. I don't know. Record labels cool with that? Who knows? Who knows? Uh huh. More. Hold on, wait. Could this be an iconic moment? Uh-huh. No, it's not. Very good. Skip it. <laughs> so your four-hour live stream really didn't turn into all that long. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, we're back calling. Okay, great. Cool. So we stopped. Very good. Nader Hashem, Hashem, the Crafted Native Rage, live reaction. Make you a thumbnail tonight. Oh, Natter. 
Oh, she's watching someone else reacting. Let me be your fupa delight. <laughs> Damn, I'm hot. Shit. I'm gonna, gonna tongue out of that. Hold on. You guys know. Okay. You guys know what he's missing. Great, but on. like ten minutes ago, weren't we? Oh. <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. Whatever. Not at all, Shami. Annie, good morning. Oh, Fabulous to see you. A good Oh, no, Always said okay. I had a way with one. More coffee. Always said I was so good. Always said I had a. You hang up on me? He <laughs> fucking hates me. Okay, fine, whatever. He wants me to kiss his ass. He's not gonna talk to me until I kiss his ass. What time of day was this? Can someone give me context? Because I, I feel as if I keep seeing the sun outside. What do you want me to say? <laughs> is this like. Is this day drinking? Is that what? Is that what this is? He wants me to say he's always been beautiful to me. He wants me to say, Nader El Shami was always a prince charming and he never treated me badly, ever. Okay? Here's the deal with Nader El Shami. Okay. You want the whole truth about Nader? Let's put, let me pee. <laughs> 8 p.m.? Jeez Louise. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, here's the deal with Nader. I agree, El. I love you, but you're a fucking asshole or something. Wait, was that it? Did she have more to say? I don't know. I don't like you motorcycle guy, I like Nander. Right. Parker Bush is out of the picture, till tomorrow. I'm sorry, Am. Maybe a nap. Why is my keyboard in Arabic? What did you do to my keyboard? How do I make it not Arabic? Nader. Wasn't she literally on on the phone like five seconds ago? She, she real. She's drunk. Drunk. <laughs> um, Annie, thank you very much for the super chat, mate. I appreciate it. Annie says, I remember. Man Bon Homme looks rough. <laughs> okay. Fruity's been through it, Annie. <laughs> Fruity. Oh, Fruity's three bottles of Moscato Deep and walking us through her relationship with Old Mate and um, singing karaoke in between it. So really not, really not. Oh, and also by the end of the stream, not good. Just uh, uh, a revisit of the conversation about pumped up kicks and uh, American gun laws and Chantal just continuing to scream, isn't it ironic, don't you think, and it makes it okay. She's the worst. I don't mean my keyboard not ever. I'm serious. I'm not putting them on speaker. Just give me a minute. I need to talk to him seriously. At this point, I feel like Moscato's the new Starbies. I'm not an animal abuser. Not her. Wait, her cats didn't end up going to the vet, right? Because she just spent the entire day day drinking and on stream, right? Not her. I got that right? Can you help me with something? Natural. I put my keyboard in Arabic. How do I change it? Why are you being rude to me? No, no, why are you being me? Why are you act, talking? Listen. Bro, I yeah. don't understand why anyone's picking up the phone. Yeah, but... I did, but you don't have to be rude. Listen, no, I don't, because I can't change it now. I'm drunk. I love you. Sorry. Say sorry to me, too. She did, baby. No, you don't think you ever did anything mean to me? You don't feel bad? Be an admission. Um, Catherine, thank you for the super chat, mate. Lovely to see you today. Catherine says, okay, let's pretend YouTube held an award show. What category would Foodie Booty win? <sighs> I don't know. Most hateful towards her audience, maybe? Like, because, like, here's the thing. At this point in time, Foodie's really got, like, the watch hours. <laughs> For me, because I, I just don't have time to watch watch much else, because um, I'm an obsessed fan like that. But I, I don't know. Like, I, I can't think of... I, I honestly can't think of too many people on this platform who disrespect and hate on their audience as much as Foodie does. Like... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't. Um, Elise, thank you very much for re rejoining the channel as a member. I appreciate it, and welcome back to Popster. Uh, Nancy, thank you again for the super chat. That's very kind. Nancy says, this is the worst play I've ever been to. Boo! Tomatoes. These aren't thespians. No, they're not thespians. They are um, awful. 
<laughs> Awful. Thank you, Nancy, though. I appreciate it. I said it. sorry, and now you say sorry, and then we'll be good. Do it. If you let me say sorry. I was hoping for the, the Shakespeare, but no. I'm not trying to fuck you. I mean, I'm trying to fuck you, but not over. Ew. I didn't fuck the motorcycle guy. What are you talking about? <laughs> he said you fucked the motorcycle, you fucking bitch, and he got like, oh, puppy. <laughs> These two, how, and how precious is old mate if that actually was said? I don't fuck anybody. Uh huh. I haven't had sex with anybody. Do you know what? Maybe tinfoil beret theory, right? It's back there. Maybe old mate's so like so against foodie sleeping with anyone else, not because it's control or manipulation, but because of his run in with um, with with STIs. Maybe he's just like he's actively trying to not, you know, to. No, that's not it. <laughs> Stop trying to find a silver lining here. That's not it at all. Yeah, oh my god, okay, I gotta text the motorcycle guy now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> daily. No, you win that award. Mespians? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're watching we're watching two Mespians. That's what we're doing. <laughs> what should I do? Textbook. Hello, lovely to see you today. You've had sex with everyone. Hope you're doing well. I haven't even fucked anyone but him, and he thinks I fuck everybody. Like, dude, you're probably the one fucking everybody. <laughs> like, you're accusing me of fucking everybody? How many... Put a one in the chat if you think he's fucking everybody and not me. One. Right. Okay, two if you think I'm fucking. If One if you think he's fucking. <laughs> Natter! Holy shit! Look at all the ones. I don't cheat on you, bastard. You cheat on me. I mean, neither of you are in a relationship, so the cheating is in question is kind of redundant. But... Natter, cheat on me. Look at that. Nobody believes you. Nobody should believe either of them. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Annie. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And the motorcycle guy has a nice cock, and he's beautiful, he's gorgeous, and he's nice, and still, I love Natter. Why? Why? Because you can't just like take the loss and move the fuck on, mate. You just, you just, just like a, just, just hang on to that shit. Learn to, learn to let go. Learn to move on. Learn to be better. You won't, but you know. I don't want to love him anymore. Uh huh. Help me get over him. I just want to hear a song. Yeah, I find it hundred <laughs> percent. Nobody understands why. <laughs> can't even tell anybody that you love me. Fucking why. Therapy, Oceana. Therapy. Do I ever care how I look in front of people? Never. No. I would do anything. Where's my shame bell? Oh my god, this song again. Right. Uh, 208-ish, maybe? I don't know. She looks like she's singing there. Um, Phil, hey mate, thanks for being here for 16 months. I appreciate it. Phil says, morning, Zach. Saw the notification. Yay, 4 a.m. live. Good morning, mate. <laughs> Happy 4 a.m. And thank you for 16 months. That's uh, That is a full amount of time. I hope you slept well, and good morning. I'm sorry about the mess. <laughs> skip, 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 skip. As much as I want to watch Foodie Dancing, I'm getting it in frames, and I hate it. Jesus. Oh. Still singing. Okay. We're back. He's just very sexually dominant, so if you like somebody very dominant, you will like Natter. I don't like that. Oh my god, no! Red flag danger. Everybody stay away. Boo! Okay. Okay. The frames were pretty good, actually, Rum. They worked out really well. Natter. He's just very sexually dominant, so if you like somebody very dominant, you will like Natter. I don't like that. Do not recommend. Just don't, don't recommend to anyone. Putting that out there in the universe. Don't recommend. I like somebody... I like somebody who's soft and gentle. But I also like to be screwed hard, so sometimes I like it. But it's... Sorry, I'm back. Borderline abusive. Ugh. Can we just, like... Look, universe, I know you're listening. Could we just, like, put out there that people deserve healthy relationships, respectful relationships, not relationships that, like, edge on the verge of abusive? Because that's kind of fucking gross, 
And could we just, like, be good? Could we be good? Being good would be great. Being good would be really good. Um, Nancy, thank you for the super chat. Nancy said, okay, last one. Chat, I cordially invite you to this, my sleep paralysis demon. Was it was it one of the frames? Or is it just this entire stream? Because I don't understand either or, Nancy. Thank you very much for the super chat. Oh, boy. <sighs> okay, Fruity, are you going to stop talking about this now? Please. <laughs> I'm scared. Do you guys ever have really rough sex? Do you find it scary? No, I'm serious. Why are we talking about this? We could just not. Master, that's not true. He's not a predator. Come on. He's never, like, made me do anything I don't want to do, but he likes to be in charge. Okay, then Abby, you would like that. I don't like trying to eat. I don't like really rough sex. Conversations to have with your partner. Does my dad or mom watch me act like this live, crying over something to do? What do you want me to do? You're going to hate me because I love somebody? Oh my god, this fucking idiot. Sorry. I don't think... Sorry. He gets on my nerves, but I don't feel bad with him. You get on my nerves, Adder, because you cough too much and I don't like it. But I don't think he would kill me or anything. Hello, I'm annoyed, I'm sad. He fucks you out Sorry, hatred. Marshall. He hates that you need... You fuck me out of hatred and you hate that you need my money? <laughs> hey, I make more money than you. Fucking get over it. And I'll always make more money than you. Get over it. If I love me or you can hate me. Ugh. All right, we'll work through it, chat. It's fine. Just remember, take care of yourself and your health and boop out if you need to. I totally understand. She's just, she's on one. <sighs> Sassy, thanks for being here for 13 months, mate. I hope you're having a fabulous weekend. Sassy says, you can be rough in the sack and sweet in real life, by the way. 100%. There comes a, a very important discussion about consent and respect and, like, kindness and aftercare and just so many things that are not being handled well with Chantel and I just don't like the fact that she's talking about any of these things on this public and monetized platform but you know what she, she is so we'll watch I think he does love me a little bit I don't think he does just because Nick is submissive on your knees worshipping him nice Mika <sighs> no I can't I don't worship anybody money don't buy love Miss Tian, I can't be celibate. I can't. I love sex. I fucking love it. It's true. Debbie. I love. I, I love. I'm so in love with him. And we're back to this. Wow, just cyclical, isn't it? Um, Veronica, good morning. Fabulous to see you. Thank you very much for the super chat, and I hope you get coffee. Veronica says, good morning. I'm currently at a beautiful lake on the Georgia-South Carolina border, waiting for another trail race to start. That sounds cool. Um, keep being awesome. You keep being awesome. I hope you have a fabulous weekend, Veronica. It sounds like you're already having one. Enjoy your coffee. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for stopping by. Hello. I can't fuck anyone else because of him, and you know what? You told me that right from the get-go. You're never going to fuck anyone else. And when I move to Montreal, you're going to drive here just for me. And he was fucking right, you fucking piece of shit. Fucking asshole. Dude, you're the one in the car. Like, why keep going? This is a redundant question. Everybody and their mum has asked, why does she keep going back? Because realistically, as shitty as all of this is for her health, both mental, physical, emotional, etc. Like, Chantel don't give two shits about herself. Right? She, she literally just wants to bees and, and make her coin. And that is what we're watching. This is also a call to the universe to just make sure that everybody values their own self-respect. That would be great. <laughs> well, Kara, I mean, for him, like, I always argue that for him, he's just playing. Like, she's, he's playing her. Like, he's, he's at a point now where Chantel is so desperate for his attention and love, whatever the fuck that means from her, um, that they're not even sleeping together. Like, I'm half convinced that the other night when they were at the motel, she didn't actually go back in the room. Like, he probably kicked her out and she live-streamed from the car and then, like, went and drove him back and probably slept in the car, to be honest. Um, that's an entirely a tinfoil bro theory, and I have no knowledge that that actually happened, but it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me, because I think that old mate's been manipulative this entire time and has just pushed Chantel to the point of, like, any attention is enough, and old mate don't care. 
Like, he, he legitimately doesn't care. All he gets out of this is more more coin and more attention. And in his reality, what what is the repercussion? Apart from what was happening with the police that all got walked back anyway, because Chantal's so wound up in that, that she walked it all back. And is now entirely, entirely untrustworthy. I don't trust anyone in this entire situation, but my God, you know? <laughs> Not trust death fats. Whatever, there's nothing wrong with fat women. Fuck you. Piss off just because a woman. Pardon me. We'll rewind that because that seemed mad. April, thank you for the super chat. <clears throat> Pardon me. April says, how do people like her get a following? Um, well, I mean, she says it's mostly hate watches, and I don't necessarily like putting that word towards, like, the things that I find interesting to watch. Um, but in short, she found a large following due to a popularity of mukbangs, and then, shockingly, a spectacle live stream of disregarding um, tragedy and death while eating a cheese graveyard. So, realistically, Chantel talking about the tragedies um, and um, gun laws and, and things like that is grossly common for Chantel to talk about. Because she's built, she's built her platform on, on, um, on spectacle and toxicity. Do you know what I mean? And she says reaction channels are hateful, right? Like, it's, it's wild that she doesn't see what's in front of her face. Not loves death fats. Whatever, there's nothing wrong with fat women. Fuck you. Piss off just because a woman's body fat is more Sarah, but Suck right my balls, energy. piece of shit. Oop. Josh Moon would love to suck my fat pussy. Wouldn't you, Josh Moon? I'm going to talk to him right now. What's his phone number? Tell him to call me. 613-277- Nah, ba 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 Is she giving out her phone number on, on the live streams? ba 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 I'm not going to stop. We're all human. Shut up. You shut up. <laughs> it can never be with him, though, because he fucking needs a submissive wife. That's his culture. I'm not like that. Damn. Stupid. But he'll always miss the way I suck him. <laughs> oh, my God. I do hate this. I hate this. <laughs> Josh Moon! Members only chat. Okay. Where's Onisi on? <laughs> Not wrong, Luddy. CJ, <laughs> somebody get on the phone with me. What's your phone number? <laughs> Tabby, at this point, I need to... Look. <laughs> it might be rude of me to say, but I don't know whether or not this... The, like, foodie storyline... Fo foodie storyline, I think, has two branching parts, right? One of them is... Is, like, an ER, and the other one is impatient. That that's realistically the only like end caps of this chapter that I see. I don't like this is just going to continue until she runs it into the ground, much like her Kia. And I on it, and it will. Well, I mean, it could end multiple different ways, but the two that the you know the optimistic side of me sees is ER or impatient because like I don't know how you can function and just keep going with this. This is. Just exhausting. Shut up, Helen. He didn't rape me. Fuck off. How can someone I love rape me? That's not possible. Oh, fuck off. This, no. That's way too heavy of a topic for Chantal to be, to be picking up. Because consent is necessary. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Holy shit, Chantal. I might need more tea. He's dominant, and he told me that right from the beginning. A bit my he's not dominant. I think he's abusive, but... <sighs> mother should have abandoned me on a farm. Fuck you! Uh, my mother fucking loves me. I'm awesome. Fuck you. I'm just fucked up, you shithead. I know what? Just through that, I'm putting on pumped up kicks. because you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Great. So now, to punish her audience, Chantal will pretty much put pumped up kicks on repeat while drunk, um, and then towards the end of the evening decided a really good idea to once again double down on the irony and the satire of the song by making finger guns at the chat, even though we have all been through this conversation with her multiple times, because foodie is garbage and will actively work against basically anything that has, is said to her. 
hey Chantel, you saying this thing kind of makes me feel this way. Really? Well, let me say it again just to like bait you and make you feel bad. That's in short. Sadistic indie? I mean, yeah, I... Do, you know what? Does Chantel get an elevated sense of self and enjoyment out of, like, hurting other people? I don't know, mate. You tell me, because it really fucking seems like it, hey. Wait, wait. I know, Greg. And fucking actually fucking loves me and tells me every day and still I only fucking love you because I'm fucking stupid and I fucking hate myself for loving you and I fucking hate that I'm destroying my life for you. Garbage, mama. You're right, Linda. Garbage. <laughs> I literally fucking hate this man. And I love him at the same time. Well, this guy's hot. Shit. Do you want some Advils? Oh. I've been taking them. I like that song. I like that band daughter. It's a good song. Yep. Oh, he said, head away with words. I like a song. Yep. That works out pretty well, I thought. You have good taste in music sometimes. Sometimes, thanks. <laughs> okay, peace. People want to know how you feel about me. I like you. You like me as a family, right? Yep. You're not in love with me. Right. Right? Right. Please tell me no. Oh boy, this, you know what, chat? This feels a lot different in about, fuck, about an hour and a half's time, let me tell you. Okay, he's not in love with me anymore. anymore, but you love me as a family. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's good. James, 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 get better friends. See, Nader, you fucking bum. Clout, good to see you, mate. Thanks for the super chat, I appreciate it. Clout says, she and Old Mate are exactly the same. They lash out like children at the slightest provocation. 100% Clout. They have no communication or coping skills. No, none whatsoever. Like, they they just... I, I do not understand. They just... Like... <laughs> I I don't get it. I don't get it. Even, even in a situation where you feel like people are coming for you, I understand the need for lashing out, or the feeling that you need to lash out, but also, like, you reach a sense of maturity where you understand that, like, lashing out at everything that happens to you is not a healthy coping mechanism. <sighs> but thank you for the super chat, Clout. I appreciate it. And who, thank you again for the super chat, who says, this is her version of bonding. Imagine if she loved her audience like she loves old me. Imagine, like, uh, imagine if Chantal respected anyone who. What a wild concept, right? It's not even about love. It's just about, like respect and it honestly it comes down it's like you know this is a much dumber and more mute like negligible comparison but like wait me and my recorder like i like shenanigans and it's fun but i totally understand that the recorder did not go down well <laughs> chantal doesn't understand that like not being a trash human doesn't go down well with her relationship with her audience so uh, you know kind of the same kind of difference <laughs> he, he was jealous of you yeah. do you think you'll ever like him what if he treats me nice? For me? Oh, Ingrid, good morning. Ever? Hope you're well. Like, ever, ever? <laughs> what about my cat? We were all like Hell, there are so no. many good club versions. Even more than that? Or? Even more than that. <laughs> Shut up, BBJ. I've hated her for 20 odd years now. For 20 years now. Shut up, BBJ. I've hated that cat for 20 years and I'm not going to stop now. <laughs> what? <laughs> also, just for context, um... It is also strange, because I've been thinking, like, her keeps saying, oh, I love him, I love him, I love him. And I'm like, what were her past relate? Like, what did her past relationships look like when it came to her concept of love, right? What, like, what was the concept of love in the BB era? What was the concept of love in the Pete's era? Um, I think in the Pete's era, she's spoken a lot about, like, money um, and monetary things. And I think that that's probably where Chantel was seeing love develop in bb i don't know because it was a seven year relationship right like it was a, it was a while um but like this like i can't imagine she had a diff like this context this this idea of love the love between her and old mate with pete's or with bb 
this is something out of left field. Wild. Weird. Different. Oh, Stella, she found out about it when her audience told her days ago. Days ago, and yet decided to, to do this. Not good. Not smart. Not kind. Yay! Okay. Just use the card and order whatever you want anytime. Yeah. That's what I tell him. Order whatever you want anytime. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Come here, come here, come here. This is working pretty well. This is good. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I think I love you, BBJ. Sunshine, hello. Okay, McDonald's. Lovely to see you. Okay, you want McDonald's or you want something else? Happy weekend. You don't want McDonald's. You want something healthier? Yeah. Frankly, I don't want anything. I don't know how- Give me your phone. I don't know how to get the Arabic keyboard off. I don't know how to get the Arabic- Do you know how to get the Arabic keyboard off of my phone? I don't know. Let me see if I can figure it out. Here come the sign there. Jen, thank you for the super chat, mate. I appreciate it. Jen says, <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, the cat topic's important to me. My eight-year-old cat passed away two months ago. I'm sorry to hear, Jen. And they talk like that about BBJ. It is really upsetting when you think about it as well, Jen. Like, foodies... The way Foodie talks about BBJ, she's she's spoken as if, like, she's distanced herself for literally years. Like, imagine being that poor cat feeling like... You know, the one person who's around to look after you feels more and more distant because of whatever. Meanwhile, BBJ's just trying to have a good time. Thank you for the super chat. Between all my social media money, I get like $15,000 like $15, this month. So I just say, Pete's just order whatever the fuck you want and I'll pay for it. Uh, just thinking she's getting 15k this month. Okay. Because pizza's get, uh, gone into... When, before I did YouTube, I had a minimum wage job, like a shitty job. When I was with Pete, and I put him in debt. So he, me to go to university. So I owe him, I owe him, and I'm going to take care of him. So I make like $15,000 a month. She's still out here thinking she's making 15k a month. Okay. Uh, Mick, thanks for being here for 12 months, mate. I appreciate it. Mick says, hi, Zach and team. Sending love. Love right back, Mick. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for being here for 11 months. I appreciate it. Fabulous to see you. Okay, so Lottie has a note, for context, because I think we skipped it. James originally came in because he had a headache and was trying to sleep. Oh, yes, no, I was listening. He asked for, no, she asked if he wanted, like, Panadol or something, right? Um, just to keep in mind as she blasts music and does this. Great, for context, it turns out Chantel does not respect her housemate. Surprising. <laughs> Thank you, Lottie, I appreciate you. But, um, it's not that much after you pay taxes and all, like, 2000 in rent and I'm sorry, pay taxes, Foodie. What taxes are you paying? Foodie's paying the royalty fee that Google holds onto as an American-based company before you get the money. Yes, but that is minimum. Minuscule. School? Minuscule. <laughs> Minuscule, um, depending on the actual taxes that you owe. Shut up. You haven't paid taxes for two, maybe three years. You, you're no, you ain't paying taxes, buddy. Don't know what you're thinking you're doing. <laughs> taxes? We don't know her. You have a lavish lifestyle, it's not that much money. But I wanted to It's a lot of money. Things. It is a lot of money. 15k a month is a lot of money. Because I love you guys. Meanwhile, she's out here being like, Oh, boohoo, my power's out and I can't afford a hotel. <laughs> okay, just re just remember that energy as well. Nothing to mm. show for it, but God, you're right. I have nothing to fucking show for my money. <laughs> the most I ever made you guys was like $21,000. <laughs> Ad revenue. <laughs> yeah, yay! Cool. Thanks for sharing, Chantel. You can't- I'm trash. I'm real- Not wrong. Stream news? You're calling me trash? Are you fucking serious? You fucking hypocritical piece of shit. Uh -oh. You have Katie on your channel and you're calling me trash? See- Didn't they all agree to panel up? Wasn't the onion there as well? I know, this all happened like last week. My memory's not that great. Uh, Annie, thank you again for the super chat, my friend. Annie says, the other night she said she wants a tattoo to- memorialize grams and my cats and i'm like only one of those things has passed oh those beings has passed yes no i agree what is she planning i don't i don't know i don't think she's planning anything i just think she plans on neglecting her cats and, period because she can't she, she can't be fucked she just can't be fucked she'll put more energy into getting a tattoo to memorialize people or, or beings than actually like spend time with them in this current timeline i think yes that's what i think Thank you, you notion chat. having motherfucker. You better not be calling me trash because I will call you out. You fucking piece of shit. Really? Oh. You're going to call me trash? Barbecue chicken? Call him out. The fuck, bitch. 
Hey, barbecue. I'm coming to Spain next month. You better. I still think I still think we're gonna get a courtroom bees. So, so we'll we'll keep the <laughs> we'll keep the costume department on standby. Support me. <laughs> you are a fucking asshole. Listen, listen. I'm not calling Didi. I fucking hate Didi. She's a fucking fake bitch. Oh, and you dance like this, Didi. <laughs> fuck you and fuck you, CJ. Uh, shut up. Maybe maybe don't come for people's dancing because we're seeing a lot of yours and you are. Um, look, we all have our skills and we all have our talents, and it's important to recognize where we have them and where we don't. Chantel does, does not have them in dancing. You fucking fake bitch. You support a racist fucking dog abuser. And you know what? DC Media Girl, I fucking like. Listen. Listen, Scott Stevens. Don't fucking go there. You know he's a little bitch. Him and Katie are little bitches. Katie, I would rock your fucking world. I'm not scared of you, you trashy trailer park drunk driving having ass bitch. And you know what? CJ, you can kiss my fucking ass. You'll never be anything without me. None of you will be anything without me! You know what I'm really grateful for? I'm really grateful for, like, just just life. Just life, you know? I love it. I love the fact that I can go out and do things, that I have hobbies, that I, like, have interests that are not just, like sitting on stream for nine hours and raging at my audience because my allegedly abusive drug dealer ex-boyfriend won't love me and then drinking myself drunk on three bottles of Moscato and once again raging at people in my chat all to say yeah I earn 15k a month and have nothing to show for it a Kia that's running down and I can't pay my taxes <laughs> I love that that's not me <laughs> personally but no pretty go on continue it's fine <laughs> L, thank you for being here for seven whole months. I appreciate it, my friend. L says, that was a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> it was a whole lot. <laughs> She'll continue, though. <laughs> no, Bowser Jr. You know why? Because she's not fucking worth my energy. She's a nobody working at... <laughs> listen! Listen! Listen, I'm Linda! kick my ass. Bull! <laughs> Bull! <laughs> Bull. Bull. Bullshit. None of you have anything on me. You're all fucking nothing. Right, guys, close last. You've been watching me since day one. Sometimes you like me, sometimes you don't. I don't understand. Hold on, wait. I need to rewind. Tell us how, how we're all nothing, foodie. Please, go on. Bull. Bullshit. None of you have anything on me. You're all fucking nothing. Right, guys, close last. You've been watching me since day one. None of you. I'm assuming she was aiming this at individual, like, specific individuals in her chat, but also, like, this is, this is how I think Chantal actually thinks of her chat. <laughs> None of you mean anything. I'm the star. <laughs> okay, Fruity, go on. Sometimes you like me, sometimes you don't. I don't understand you. Fuck you, CJ. <laughs> you for real gonna stick up? You're for real gonna defy me? You baggage- Defy. Bore piece of crap. <laughs> I don't like the motorcycle guy. If you're watching the motorcycle guy, you're so nice, but- He's not watching. Also, can you come back down to, like- actual reality foodie maybe take a walk in nature i can't be attracted to you because i like egyptian men all right now what now what now what you suck at insults insult me spinach sodiums let's see how good you are come on spinach sodiums you're up next <laughs> you're a disgrace 40 year old psychopath Ooh. tell Didi we hate her too we hate you Didi. Fuck you. I don't know enough about Dee Dee, but damn, Chantal, you come off as unlikable. <laughs> Melissa, this is exactly day drinking, right? Careful of that Moscato and go right to your head, mate. <laughs> Motorcycle guy just wants to lay. I know he always gets a boner just from kissing me. I'm not fucking you. Ew. Tomorrow she will be. I was John. No, my. You're a loser. Monique, what do you. The fuck you think you are? You think you're cool? Really? I think I'm pretty cool, but <laughs> I'm also a snob, so. Really? Glam, Dude, it's I her villain arc. This arc has been going on for a year. <laughs> it's Foodie's fall to the dark side. <laughs> I didn't want to fuck you. You had to be involved. You had to. She takes her pants off, flops her big, sack, fucking disgusting, smelly pussy right in front of my face. Ooh, yum. Yeah, and Natter's like, eat her pussy. You fucking asshole. You wanted me to eat her gross, disgusting vagina. You fucking asshole. You had everything with me, and I will never talk to you again just because you're a piece of shit. Yeah, you wanted me to eat your gross, gross. I hate you both. I fucking hate you. Fuck you. What? I don't... 
I don't mean to call in a correction, but wasn't it a couple of days ago Foodie was saying, no, everything was totally, totally fresh and fine, and and I, I didn't mean anything of what I said. This is just Drunk Foodie. It's drunk, fo drunk Foodie's the true villain. <laughs> the true villain here. <gasps> oh, boy. Who? Thanks again for the super chat, mate. Who says, behold, our beautiful confidence. <laughs> Boss me. You will never let that go. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. And, yeah, this this is Big Boss behavior. Not like Metal Gear Solid Big Boss, but this is just, this is Big Boss, Big Bossy Pants Chantal behavior, for sure, for sure. Fuck yourself. Happy Pride, Lee. Happy Pride. Ooh. Suck my balls, my fupa balls. <laughs> I'm going to Italy next month, bitches. You think oh. I can afford to do that? No. I fuck you all. Ah, yes, Chantal out here e-begging for a hotel room. But she can afford it Italy. <laughs> Italy. That's not how you say that. She can afford Italy next month, apparently. Thank you. Thank you to all the VIBs and everybody who watches the ads and etc. cetera. Mm. Mm. Okay. She's so like, she's just real likable, you know? Just real likable. In the ass because I like... Postcards from Italy, Lottie. Yes. I don't think anyone in the postcard club has actually received postcards, right? Hmm. What a surprise. I have so much money. Oh, oh, here we go. Or I said she has so much money, you guys. So much money. She's she's a big she's Chantal, big bossy pants Marie up in here making all that bank. Booty beauty, you are no real woman like MFW. <laughs> You're a fucking loser. <laughs> You're no real woman like MFW. Are you insane, CJ? You fucking no chin having asshole. MFW has no class, no teeth, and no fucking money. She's a fucking e-begging piece of shit, trailer trash loser, and you're gonna associate with that. Ooh, lovely. Uh. <laughs> you. Glam, you were right. This really is a villain arc. <laughs> it was the. It was the little. Hold on, wait. Let me see if I can. I'm gonna slow it down. We're, we're gonna try to isolate that um that villain laugh. Hold on. Uh, ooh, Not that one. Love. Hold on, it's coming up. Wait for it. <laughs> Y'all heard it, right? She's got the villain laugh. She's got it down. Drunk Foodie is the villain. Um, Sarah, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Sarah says, I thought she was in Spain without the S. Pain? This one? Nah, she's reveling in this, mate. Thank you for the super chat, though. I appreciate it. That was that was maybe an hour ago when she was doing the big boohoo, and now she's just mad. Just mad. You fucking losers. You pieces of fucking shit. You two ban these Oceana, I did want to draw a comparison to Ursula, but also Ursula is a queen, and Chantal is just some poor imitation, so, you know. Fucking she got the laugh, though. It's from the face of this fucking earth. Shani for Christ. Oh. No, that better not be the real Shani, you fucking deadbeat piece of shit parent. Nobody likes you for a good reason, because you're a lowlife, and you need help, but yes, when kids are involved, look, I, I made the right choice. I ruined my own life. I don't ruin a kid's life. You do. <gasps> you had no you had no issue. Woof, this is a lot. This is like a who's who of just folks on the internet, huh? Jen, thanks for the super chat, mate. Jen says, how could she call someone else an e-beggar? She did that a few weeks back. Because if Chantel does it, it's fine. If if anybody else like does anything, Chantel will call them out. Don't even, you know, don't even don't even breathe in, in her general direction. She'll call she'll call someone out. And doesn't understand the word hypocrisy. But thanks for the super chat, Jen. She with MFW until she called you out. MFW is a racist, drunk driving, trailer trash piece of shit. Animal abusing piece of shit. When did she find out all of this? Did she find all of this out before or after the stream? Or the panel rather. Because remember, she was all she was entirely ignorant about what the onion had done. And that's why she was like, oh no, like, whatever, I'm just going on, like, I'm just, I'm just being interviewed, like, whatever, it's fine. Did she not know? I mean, I don't know, because I don't know any of these people, but boy howdy has the conversation been brought up. Like, did she not know? Shit. Who cannot call me out because I'm superior than her times 20, so go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. If you disagree, I'm gonna fucking block you, you losers. I don't... Is she just fighting with her chat now? Again, chat, hi. Thanks for being awesome. Drive high, you stupid asshole. Prove it. Just prove it. Prove it. Just prove it. Prove it. Show me proof. Who's got who's got the who's got the stream? <laughs> who's got the clip? 
Prove it. 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 Oh wait, it's shown like every time she hits that curb. <laughs> prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Anyway, that's not proof. That's just you know coincidence. Prove it. Mm. Prove that I drive high. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. We can also prove that she's distracted while driving. Often. That one's provable. Oh, and the Coke. Yeah, we've got that proof, Jackie. Her own confession of her um, going to the, the graduation party and then driving home while having had Coke pretty close to the fact of driving. So, yes, she... she I mean, in in if we are going to, like, use the words correctly, was Chantal driving high or driving impaired by drug use, yes, of her own, of her own confirmation, because she did, she did the, she did the coke at the graduation party, and then drove home after that, that was a yellow dress story time, we remember that one, ooh, she's bad, fuck Dee Dee, let's call her to tell her, call her gorgeous, you're fucking hotter than her, she looks like her fucking brother and her mother combined, and you know what, Dee Dee fucked her grey pussy, Natter fucked her grey pussy, go make fun of him, he's a piece of shit, he fucking cheated on me with her, have fun with your life with Didi. Damn, she, call, she truly she calls us hateful, but she is just on another level. <laughs> Why did you fake those charges? Real stream. That's a really good question. You don't know anything, you stupid fucking asshole. You don't know anything, you stupid. Uh, well, I mean, I think she went forward with all of those charges because of this, the current situation of him moving out. But that would make me an awful person to say that. Stupid fucking asshole. That's all you're ever going to be. You're never going to grow your channel more than this. You think anyone's going to give a shit what you have to say? You really think that you're going to be anything? Anything? You think you're going to grow your channel? She is, L. Yes. That's very well put. Yes. I love that for you. You're going to be nothing. Because you are nothing. <laughs> Junk foodie really thinks she is something. And she is something that no one likes. Or wants. Hmm. Mm, I love that for you. Love that for you. <laughs> You're just mad that I didn't answer your emails kissing my ass? Do you want me to post them? Oh, I just want to squash beef. I think people think MFW is too abrasive. No, people think MFW is a fucking cokehead piece of trash. That's what people think about MFW. Right? Where's fucking DC Media, bitch? Where are you? Come in here. Come in here. Tell what is going on? Tell everybody what's wrong with her. Monique, you're a fucking cookie, ugly cookie. Cookie one hundred. Anybody who's anybody who stands by Chantal and says, "No, she's just misunderstood." You know, she's just she's under the pressure of, of a spotlight on the internet. Show them this, mate. Like this is this. It doesn't matter how many drinks in she is. This is this is too common to be um, untruthful. You know. Piece of shit. Get out of here. I'm not even gonna prove your message. Call Dee Dee. I'm not calling Dee Dee. I fucking hate Dee Dee. She's a dumb bitch. And that or you're a dumb bitch, too. You're all dumb bitches. Y'all are dumb bitches. Great. You're all wonderful, chat. Again, just try, trying to keep the respectful shenanigans in in line. And thank you all for being wonderful. Um. Anyway. You ain't got nothing on me. Fucking come for me, bitch. I think I'm scared of you, Natter. Ooh. You think it, she really is motivating me to have healthy relationships in my real life. Damn. Good for you, foodie. Thank you. You would be anything... <laughs> Where's my phone? Where's my fucking phone? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Did he take my Pee! Did you take my phone? Did you take my phone? Oh! You're not getting your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Is the phone here? Uh, I need to call. Do you think Nader's an asshole? Yeah. Why? Because from everything you've told, he is an abusive, manipulative piece of shit. What? Which is what? Uh, he's controlling. Yes, that's true. I mean, hit you. He hit me. No, he smacked me. Oh. No, he didn't. He grabbed my face like this. She has presented that story 17 different ways, and I hate all of it. Is that abusive? Yeah. Okay, and what else? fact that he would regularly refuse to let you leave his house there you go there and all of that stuff's also called into question because like i don't know i'm again i question everybody in all of that situation but my god i cannot trust a goddamn thing chantelle has said ever 
Does this look like the face of a trustworthy individual? No, because we know who it is. It's Chantal Marie. It's Foodie Beauty. And we've all been watching her for a while and we all know better. The pause? What about the pause? Is that... Ha! Ah. <laughs> That's a good pause. Okay, great. There you go! Richard, incredibly fucked up. There you go! I do not understand. He doesn't even care! And he doesn't even care! Of course he doesn't care! He's never cared! Grow the he fuck up! Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm just frustrated. Because, my god. Like, how, how many times can you listen to this, Chantal? He doesn't even care. Oh, we got real drunk all of a sudden. Yeah. He doesn't acknowledge it. Yeah. That hurt my feelings. He's an asshole. Dear Fruity, please find enough self-respect and, like, self-esteem and just all of the things to acknowledge that he is not good for you in so many ways. Like, do not let a person put their hands on you. Do not, like, like... Consent is required. Don't go back 44 times. I don't need to keep saying it. I'm so tired. Who? Thanks again for the super chat, mate. Who says, and all of that came from her. Is I? It means, oh, still it means nothing. I mean, yeah. I said it right at the start when all of this was happening. It is the, it is the, the person who cried wolf and it's just, it's nonsensical. 44 times. It's, like, tiring. It's tiring. You don't love me. If you love me, you would go live right now and say you love me. If you don't, because you think I'm crazy. Shut up, bitch. Again, we do it. We still get the groove. Okay. Oh, said I was a good no. She, I don't know who's keeping tally. We have listened to this song like 17 times on the stream and it's also tired. All right. I need to hear a song with you. Thanks, Chad. I'll be here all week. <laughs> I want to hear a song with you. I'm so obsessed with that song, Burn It Down by Goderit. Yeah, Wasted. I think it's it's less of, like, my empathy and sympathy for her, the well runneth dry months ago. It's it's less about Foodie as an individual, and it's more about anyone who can kind of, s like, see similarities, I guess. Because <clears throat> everybody knows, and I always say it, like, I am, I'm speaking specifically about the nonsense that we're watching, right? Um, but that's not to say that... That's not to say that, like me people can see similarities and oftentimes be frustrated by their own past perhaps or current like decision making actions all of those things so it's nice to recognize like i like to recognize when it's like oh boy that's like bad and also maybe something that i would have thought like you know 10 years ago and then and, you know i'm glad that i matured beyond that um and yeah that, that that's why it's got ab like me wishing better into the world is a lot less to do with foodie as an individual and more about like the actual talking points around it um jenny thank you for the super chat as well jenny says she's a disney princess she has to sing she oh <laughs> i don't know i don't know she wishes <laughs> jenny thank you for the super chat no all right come here what are you eating i was eating house. okay eat and come over here why are you gonna come out hang out with me after yes i can go a little while See you, shenanigans. Have a good one. Good to see you. I feel down. I feel down. You think I should marry Pete? <sighs> Not or you could never. No. No. Like, the discussion I didn't even bring up the fact that she was talking about, like, moving Pete's out and potentially moving Old Maid in, because that all turned on its heel in the span of 24 hours as well. I think that Pete's needs to make better friends and drop you. That's what I think. 
You fucking bitch. Pete does not hate me, Kit Kat. Pete loves me. Pete's loved me more than he loves anyone on the fucking planet. Yeah, and he should really just move on. Growth. That's what we'd like to see. Growth. Do you want me to make up with Pete? <laughs> oh god, no. He's like a kisser. Natter, you know you miss me. <laughs> I reckon old mate was watching at this point or like asleep. <laughs> yeah, Chantal, what? Yeah, Chantal wishes out. Oh, I said I had a She could never. Was. She had the perfect time as well, because, like, before the stream era, she was doing the, um, the, the, uh, what the hell were they called? The Time Warps, incorrectly named. Um, but when she said she was doing a Disney character for Halloween or whatever it was and ended up on Belle, ugh, lazy. Don't be evil. She could have had an iconic moment. Actually, there is a stream where we were playing Paper Dolls, and that may have happened. Mm. <laughs> I'm puking tonight. I'm not going to puke. <laughs> if he doesn't say yes, I'm, I'm done with him. If I call Natter right now and he doesn't say yes, I'm done with him. Totally done. So done. Oh my god. Watch. Done. Can if he we says be yes, done? Then I'll give him everything in my world. Be nice if we were done. <laughs> watch, watch, watch. Oh, I said I had a Oh, chat. Sorry, before she goes on. I appreciate all of you here. Good morning to everybody on the other side of the planet and good evening for, for this side. Hi. Um, thanks for stopping by. If you'd like to hit the like button while you're here, I'd appreciate that. I've realized that I haven't mentioned that in two and a half hours now because I'm the worst YouTuber. Um, we're going to keep watching Chantel. Just a warning for everybody who may have just come in. Chantel will continue the discussion around Pumped Up Kicks. We'll continue to play it. We'll continue to bait her um, her audience and blame her Amer American audience for um, the tragedies and the uh, legality of everything that's going on. And then make um, Finger Gun... Uh, actions towards the camera it's it's a lot so if you don't want to be here for that i totally understand if you want to poop out um but this is just once again a warning are you watching me g'day elizabeth hello lovely to see you <laughs> not her okay if you say yes and, and this was all open her. chat, right? Like, ugh, I don't know. Give you everything you ever wanted in your life. Do you love me? Was this calculated for spectacle? Possibly. I mean, specifically the open chat was, yes. <laughs> but the amount of wine she was drinking. Who knows? Uh, Dolphin, hello. Oh, Thank what? you for the compliment. I appreciate what? it. Hope you're well. Why didn't you say yeah. it? Hold on to your butts, everyone. <laughs> Find a buddy, actually. Scream into the void together. It's fun. It's funner together. And grab no. a towel. Because. No. Should always have a towel. Do you love me? No. Do you, lo do you love me? Oh my god. Do you love me? The level of desperation. Okay. Yeah, well, that's the thing about it. Like, she's got this open chat, but she's not, like, apart from raging every now and then towards people, I guess, she's not actively engaged with the chat. Oh, I said I had a way with words. Ah, skip it. Really, Jackie? God, she's the worst. Oh, she's giving the finger to people. Because she thinks that old mate's watching, I'm assuming. Is he with Didi? No. Mm -hmm. He loves me. Shay, you know he loves me. Tell me, you know it. Hey, he poets. loves me. Yes, last he's night. fucking asshole to me, but he still loves me. <laughs> yeah, buddy up, Natter, chat. You fucking asshole. Buddy oh, you up. fucking bitch. You think that people don't know that you love me? Whatever. Sandy, oh my god, you're so nasty. Who Living? the fuck Hello? would find you remotely attractive? Why not, Sandy? What the fuck is your problem? Why are you guys so fucking asshole to me? Why are you mean to me? I'm not even mean. Because she's a fucking bitch. Sorry, sorry. That may have been too blunt and too rude, and you know me, I tend to, like, I tend to walk the line of being just hateful, but man, she's a bitch. Takes a, like, it takes a lot. I have a high tolerance, but my god. I love all you guys. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> Sorry, chat. 
<sighs> I need a snack. <laughs> That's what I need. I, I haven't I haven't attacked my, my pit of dates over there. They're just sitting there staring at me. You are supposed to me. It's the blood sugar. You know, bitches need carbs. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, you're crying over Natter. Yes, I'm crying over Natter. I'm sorry. I love Natter. I will always love him. I fucking love him. Great. It's tragic. It's fucking tragic. It is. Because he doesn't... Desperate and pathetic if we want to add more words to the situation. Love me the way I love him. And he can't love people the way I love him. Uh Uh-huh. Because he's a piece of shit. And pieces of shit. Dude, the way you love people is... Caustic. Was that one of the words? Caustic. (laughs) Awful. Nobody should ever love somebody like you do. Because it's bad. I love people. (laughs) Right, Nadder? If you ever love somebody so much. <laughs> okay, bitch. You think that is. Okay. Cry I'm gonna fucking call him right now. Fucking night. Fucking asshole. <laughs> you know what? Oh. Sorry, I needed a moment of levity. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm back. It's fine. It's good. <clears throat> you know the guy who owns the fishery? <laughs> you know, God. <laughs> Dude, I would not have picked up any of these calls. Is he a who owns a fish place? Is he single? <laughs> the guy who owns the fish place. Hey, wait, wait, wait. He's into goat, not buffalo. You fucking asshole. I hate all of this so much. Whew. GG, we do see no, why one tier. No, so fucking mean? Yes, we no, see no, one no, tier. Listen, why are you being mean? You're not wrong, Pete. Yes, please, why are you being mean? Do you know that I... No, listen, listen. It's no, me. listen. No, no, li- listen, Linda. Listen. Sorry, Linda. I'm sorry. Oh, you fucking motherfucker. <laughs> listen, Linda. <laughs> like, really? You don't know that I pay your fucking phone bill? You stupid- Oh, okay, so confirmation that the phone bill's still being paid by Foodie as if that was ever in question. Right. Um, Sarah, yes, it's third degree secondhand embarrassment that we often witness here. Yes, you're not wrong. You're fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Linda, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't help it. <laughs> you're really gonna fucking ignore me like that, you fucking piece of shit. Feel, really? I feel as if Susan and Daddy G are not going to appreciate this stream. <laughs> you're gonna ignore me like that? For real? For real, you're gonna <laughs> ignore me like that? You're gonna ignore me like that? Yeah, if you think about the phone bill as well, that's probably on top of the 2k per month. So, yeah, you're right, chat. She's probably closer to 40k, maybe? What? Oh no, what have I done? Chat, I'm, I see you. <laughs> My boyfriend's calling me. Your boyfriend? Matter? Guys, I can make him jealous by saying that I've got a boyfriend. <laughs> this is so dumb. I'll oh, grab this piercing out of your nose. I thought, like at one stage, I was kind of comparing these storylines to things like the OC, but my God. <laughs> not even them. Uh, who? Thanks again for the super chat, mate. That's very kind. Not at all required, but very kind. Thank you. Who says, I would throw that phone out the window. <laughs> Hers, old mates, both, actually. <laughs> Maybe one down, like, the garbage chute as well. <laughs> <laughs> Alien, hello. Good to see you. You asshole. Ivana, I also love the <laughs> OC. I mean, the original season. After that, it got a bit wild but yeah. the original season yeah <laughs> or what life could be like <laughs> yes <laughs> why did you say that why would you say see what those motherfuckers are gonna do? What? Why wouldn't you just say I love you? Why don't you just fucking admit? You need to go live finish your saying. No. No. Hey. Listen to me. You better go live and say that you love me. Linda, listen. I'm done with you forever. 
you let me hang out with you. <laughs> James to the rescue. <laughs> Things I thought I'd never say. Hello, Pete. I would not lay on that bed. Those pillows. Do they have covers yet? Uh, Pete, you're looking very comfortable there. Dude. That sprite was uh, undrinkable. Why? Too watered down. Do you think he loves me? Oh my god. <laughs> Tired look, the tired look on Pete's face. Just <laughs> tell me he loves me, Pete. He loves me, right? He? Do you think he loves me? I, you know, I know he's, I know he's bad. I know he's bad, but like, I love him, and I think he loves me too. He loves me so much, but he just. He can't tell people because we can't be together. Not legal. I mean, legally we can be together, but we just, it's just, he's just not working out. And I don't, I just love him so much. Sorry, she went away. Anyway. That's fun. I think he loves himself. <laughs> but do you think he loves me, honestly, objectively? Probably not. Not even a little? I, Fuck no! <laughs> I think he loves you as an extension of himself. He loves you as a possession. Who, thank you again for the super chat, I appreciate it. Just put this one up there. Um, who says, a true friend would end the stream, take the wine, and send her to bed. Well, funnily enough, who, thank you again for the super chat. And yes, I mean, he does try at one point, because she gets real, like, just emotional. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. <laughs> I'm reading from her script, Susanka. I mean, yeah, at this point, it feels like it. <laughs> <A boo -hoo. laughs> yeah, unplug the Wi Fi piece, Pull, rip it out of the back. We're done here. Sorry. <laughs> No, he's just going to watch her cry. And we still have an hour left, chat. <laughs> this is I'm awkward. <laughs> Pete's is very non-confrontational, for sure. Especially when it comes to the individual who's paying the rent. I mean, his friend Chantal. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on, wait. I've got, I've got music for this. <laughs> no. I like this. <laughs> Sorry, peace. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta turn it up. <laughs> okay, no. By the way, don't worry, everybody. I'll, I'm here for her. I'll take care of her. Don't worry about her. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, we're back. Okay. <laughs> so no need for a fucking wellness checkup. Hey, I hate you! <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> Okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. You piece of shit! You fucking motherfucking piece of fucking 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 asshole. I'm okay now. <laughs> You fucking motherfucking piece of shit. I hope you know I'll never get back with you. Believe me? I hope so. I'll never get back with you. You. You can't go online and be like, oh, she's my girlfriend? Well, fuck you. You know what? You don't deserve me. Bitch! Oh, I said I Well, that was fun. <laughs> that was... That was a lot. Um, that's number six in my dreams by Esther 
Abrami, courtesy of the YouTube audio library. Um, my God, you know, just sometimes the stars align and Chantel just, just, just does a lot. <laughs> it's just the perfect song to go along with. <gasps> um, Auntie, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. I hope you have a fabulous day. Thank you for the message. You have a lovely Saturday as well. Um, we're gonna get we're gonna get back to this, but we gotta we're gonna do the thing. We gotta do the thing now. Why am I so upset? Okay, we're back. You're just a dramatic person. What? You're a very dramatic person. Not wrong. You still love me. Hmm? You still love me. Not when you're drunk. Not when she's drunk. Oh god, Pete's mate. Mm. I'm drunk. Really? I'm not attracted when I'm drunk. You do get annoying when you're drunk. Call her out, Rip. <laughs> I just want to love so. Do I need to play the song again? <laughs> we want to listen to y'all. I mean, we're gonna care. Oh, right now I'm just trying to watch my stories. Yep. She's really making it hard though. There it is. Good morning, Orange. Hello, fabulous to see you. Capone asks an important question. Why is she doing this? Like streaming or? <laughs> God, I don't know, mate. Three bottles of Moscato. This is where you end up, apparently. Okay. Hold on, I'm okay. Are you? You paused it. Great. That makes my night fun. Okay, she's disappeared for a while. Let's see when she comes back. Uh, oh, Jesus. You know what? Pete's is probably regretting the suggestion of this song. I would imagine so. Oh! Hang on. Something's happening here. Uh, please hold while I find an appropriate track. Because I feel like this needs... This needs... Something going on. What is this one? Uh, Let's try this one. What does this sound like? Maybe not this one. Hold on. What does this one sound like? Yeah, this is good. This is good. Find a buddy. I know the music. Here. 50 buddies, Erica? I feel you, mate. We've got 1,400 buddies in the chat, though. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. What's going on here? I think that was a hug. I think that was mostly a hug. I hope it was mostly a hug. I hope he consented to the hug. Jesus. All right, Chantel. Oh, no. We're in slow motion. Nightmare fuel. We're just watching each other. Okay, we're back. The bride is not. <laughs> no, they kiss. She says it. Oh no. Ooh. That's very uncomfortable, Zans. Yes, uncomfortable. <laughs> what song did we want to hear before? Do you remember? It's not well, a hug. Whatever. <laughs> it's not a hug. <laughs> I'm trying to be. Let, me, you. let me live in my delusion. Because you're drunk. <laughs> you have absolutely no fucking impulse control or 
I mean, T, Christine. Melissa, hello. Hope you're doing well. Thanks. Hugs or kisses? Maybe both, Jonah. It's probably both. Well, she admits to the kiss, so... Great. Cool. That's not awkward at all. I'm not gonna lie, there was a time in, in my past who I had a housemate who really enjoyed wine and definitely... Yeah. Very different but similar <laughs> situation. Except... I, I put my foot down and was like, um, your romantic advances are not wanted, and, like, bye. Uh, but, mm, 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 mm. It's giving that, but awful. <laughs> Pizza's very over it. Oh, she's back with more wine. Oh, Jesus no. Christ. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Where'd go? I'm not barfing. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, no. he said yet and not yet. He's not wrong. Barf. No. Can I hear that song again? Sure. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, Lane. I'm not sure, but oh my god. Whoever owns the copyright to that strong getter. <laughs> Please. <laughs> What? Oh no, she spilled wine. There's wine everywhere. Don't sit on Pete's face. Oh, did you break open another gummy? You did. Are we on gummy number two now? I think so. What is that? Look at me, throw me, kiss me, kiss me. Oh, she's literally got the entire thing in her mouth. Hi, Pete. Wild. Do you think you're about a lover than a natter? Hmm? Please don't answer that, Pete. Please. Do you think you're about a lover than a natter? I don't have a care. Good answer. What? Don't engage. Pete, don't engage. Disengage. If you were about a lover than him, it would save me. <sighs> sorry, what? No foodies. Um, sorry, reality time. Because she's starting to perk up. What did you say? I don't have a care. If you were better lover than him, it would save me. What? Hi. I missed the last YouTube chat. Oh, sorry. Sorry, chat. I got I got all, all distracted. Uh, who do I miss? Who do I miss? Who do I miss? Was it who? Oh, it was who. Sorry. <laughs> That's the super chat, mate. Who says, there are things I could not be paid enough to do and babysit her drunk is one of them. 100% who she... Even sober. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could be paid enough just to be in Chantel's general vicinity. Period. <laughs> Awake, asleep, drunk, sober. She, she's... not. Nah. <laughs> she's not for me. <laughs> what is this? Oh yeah! Peace, look. Peace. She's asking right. Pete if she thinks he's a better lover than her, uh, than old mate. And if he is, then he can save her. And I feel uncomfortable and hate it all. No, it's not you're putting up. No, you don't. <coughs> More music. <laughs> More music. Fabulous. Please let me fix this up. It's a nightmare stream. <laughs> Man, I my mind is flashing back to the New Year's Eve stream of them playing karaoke, and it was a different vibe. Just a different vibe. Now he doesn't want your shitty wine. I don't know if Pete's is just trying to be like a good friend or what's going on, but like. I would be in the other room with the door locked. And probably a chair in front of it. Listen, I like Batman. Listen, Linda. She likes Batman. Um, Chloe, thank you for being here for 12 months and that joke's getting stale. Uh, lovely to see you and happy anniversary, Chloe. Chloe says, quick check-in before the beach. Much love. Oh, enjoy the beach, mate. No, absolutely. Enjoy the rewatch if you choose to rewatch and have a fabulous day at the beach. Thanks for checking in and happy anniversary. 
I like Batman because he fucking uses his cane. Wait, what? Wait, does Pete not like Batman? Said he's a billionaire. He's part of the problem. Oh. You like me? Usually. You love me. Usually. There you go. Pete's move on, mate. See, he loves me. There you go. Fuck you, fucking bitch. Like Usually. Oh, I said I oh my god. <laughs> this song is starting to haunt me. Could we pick a different song, though? JB, is this seducing bees? I hate it. What? What? It's snowing. Fabulous to see you this morning. Hello. Thank you very much for the super chat. Snowing says, this has been too much. <laughs> Just well, have a great weekend, all fine peace. I hope you have a fabulous weekend snowing, and thank you for stopping by, and thank you for the super chat, and I hope you take care of yourself. It has been a lot, yes. I agree with the sentiment. <laughs> I know I'm fucking... Uh... I like you so much better when you're naked by Ida Maria. No, 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 no. Are we just listening to music now? I don't know how to so sing... Why the hell did you even ask? Do you want to sing Melissa Etheridge with me? I don't know any Melissa Etheridge. Why don't you like more the other? Yeah, Stella, I can't imagine going on, in on this alone. This would have been too much. Okay, I like you some. I mean, Everyone? I listened to some of it as I went, but for context. You sing the man part. That's the one part. Please hold, chat. Please hold. Just a reminder to not let Foodie ruin any of these songs for you. This one's a bop. Not ruin it for me! I don't know either. Pumped up kick. And here comes the discussion about pumped up kicks. Warning. You all know. Well, I like this one. I wonder if I can just like hum over it if it's okay. I don't know. I've got it sped up. How much further do I need to speed it up? Just keeping an eye on um, Daddy G to see if it's getting mad at me. We can just skip it, it's fine. Oh god, I hate this. Here's a hot tip. Like, maybe don't antagonize your audience. Maybe be more respectful of people's, like, <sighs> everything. And maybe don't actively antagonize, play pumped up kicks, and make finger guns at your chat after just a day before having a discussion about, like, how fucking distasteful all of that is. Cool? Cool. Maybe we could do that. Just the timing of when you <laughs> Oh, here we go. Pete's is actually confronting her about it. Ooh. I can't hear her very well. Like I said, it was just... The timing of when you listened to it was, uh, suboptimal. Okay, but I would, have, I would give my life for all those kids who lost your life. Shut the fuck up, And foodie. people don't care about that. No, foodie, no one cares about it, because it's a fucking moot point, and it's trash. Oh, well, I can do whatever I want, because given the situation, I would give everything. Shut the fuck up. Like, actually shut the fuck up. Dear foodie, you're not likable. You're kind of a bitch. You don't have any sympathy 
or empathy for anybody. You cannot understand how anybody could be upset that this might be, oh, I don't know, the wrong take. God. Garbage, Mama. And to sit there and be like, oh no, my sins are forgiven because I would give myself in the situation. First of all, fuck off. Second of all, no you wouldn't. You're... F no. Just shut up. That's it. I have two points. That's it. <laughs> if I could give my life to save every one of those children who lost their life in that shooting, I would do it. All of you Americans who think you have right to assault rifles, fuck you. That's what that song means to me. What about you? Hey who, thanks for the super chat. <sighs> who says she'll give her life but won't stop listening to a song? Yeah, make that make sense, right? Imagine, imagine putting like. I think part of the reason why she's so dislikable, one of them, because there are many, one of them is that she's actively antagonistic and will basically just disagree with people for the sake of disagreement. How dare you shame me? How dare you make me think this way? How dare you? I disagree with you and I will actively disagree with you and I will actively, like, be hurtful because of my disagreement because I am right. I am always right. My name is Foodie Beauty. The end. I, she she's, has said it in the stream. She is superior. People would be nothing without her. This, that, and the other. It is her way or no way. She is right in all things. And this is not the take and not, not the message. And just awful. Tell me your honest opinion. Am I wrong or what? Is that, that song to me is satire. Commentary, please. Well, I mean, is it not the American anthem or no? Shut the fuck up. Could you imagine? Here's the thing as well. Like, I have to take this out of context. Well, not out of context. I have to take this out of um, out of direct impact, right? Because I am not American, as much as Chantel seems to think I am. I'm I'm not American. I do I do not have that same understanding or struggle or connection. To, to, like, the tragedy or the tragedies that continue, right? I don't. But if a traumatic event happened in my country that was impacted by legislature or culture or any of those things, and I was watching some drunk fuck on the internet saying that, well, you know, this tragedy happened, and so... This song is appropriate and is now, Zach, your Australian national anthem. What a bitch. What a bitch. Uh, hey, Mick. Thanks for the super chat again. Mick says, thank you, Poppy. No, thank you, mate. Like, again, like, I'm, I'm not the most knowledgeable. I am not the most educated. I am not the individual. Nobody has all the answers and I'm not presenting it as such. But just, like, as a, as a human, like, don't antagonize people based on tragedies that they suffer, be it locally, nationally, like as as a human being, any of those things. But Chantal just goes out of her way to make people upset because she loves the attention. It doesn't matter whether or not it's negative or positive. It's also not how satire works. Thank you, Pac. <laughs> oh, anyway. No, please continue, Foodie. Please tell us how you are justified somehow because you feel as if you would give yourself in 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 people's place. I hate this. It's awful. That's the bad at this point. There you go. Fuck. Jesus Christ. You know how many more kids lose their life to what was it? To shootings than any other cause of death in the fucking world. What the fuck, man? That's all I'm saying. That's not all you're saying, Foodie. You're antagonizing your audience. This is this is a conversation. Like this is this is one of those topics that one Foodie shouldn't be having. Two drunk Foodie should certainly not be having. And three is a topic that like realistically only stirs up an emotional response. Specifically here, where Foodie is not having an adult conversation. She's literally just trying to 
like get under the skin of and upset people. Kids have a right to go to school and not worry about being shot. Kids have a right to go to school and not worry about being shot. Little kids, man. Being shot in the United States, the most free country in the fucking world. And you're gonna fucking shoot kids. And you're gonna fucking be okay with that. What was it? The leading cause of death for kids in the United States is shooting. Didn't you say that? Yeah, yeah, I got The that. leading cause of death for kids is shooting! Why are you having this fight with your audience, you drunk fuck? Really, a really smart thing would have been to recognize the tragedy and not keep this line of conversation. I don't think anybody is okay with a tragedy like that actually happening, and I don't think any anyone is okay with it, foodie. But, like, kindly fuck off. And a giant fuck you to you continuing to antagonize your audience over this. Specifically, members of your audience who are American. Like, like it's not anybody's... in. It, it's not anyone in her chat's fault that this happened. So why, why is, like, it... it this conversation has been happening for like three days now, and it consistently feels as if Foodie is placing blame on people, and I hate it. Because it comes across very much as, America, fix your problems. Who the fuck are you talking to, Foodie? Have you got a direct line to someone that we don't know about in your chat? No, you're talking to your audience, who's telling you to be more respectful and be less of a... Meanie. Sorry. feel like I'm using a little too much aggression at the moment no not aggression but just words um anyway <clears throat> right yep and you want to hate me sarah thank you very much for the super chat i appreciate it mate sarah says while these things are important to discuss what else is foodie going to do other than talk about talk out of her butt about it absolutely nothing oh yeah foodie will like foodie will have the worst worst takes period about any like adult responsible conversation drunk foodie even worse i i just don't f yeah you know as as someone who shoves a camera up their nose and and talks like every other day about stuff i recognize where my ignorance and where my like where where topics of discussion are just just like are not it for me that that like because I, I don't know about things or i don't feel as if i have a, a responsible grasp on things right so i don't want to put anything out there to make me sound like a professional and that's why i quite often say i'm not a professional i, I, I don't know about anything um but conversations like this it's so much more so much more important to have in on the right platform and in the right context i think um bed bug hello sunny lovely to see you thank you for the super chat Sunny says, don't worry, everyone, we're all watching Karma. This is just oof, rough, Sunny. Hope you're doing well, though, mate. Thank you. And Oceana, thank you for the super chat. Oceana says, as an American, I thank you for your words. Oh, no, like, that's that's very kind of you, Oceana, and thank you for the super chat. I think it's, I don't know. It's, I think as a responsible adult, you know, you need to know when to be quiet and when to respect other people's requests to shut the hell up about a topic that you don't know anything about and you're actively causing pain on you know yeah she doesn't learn that lesson thank you Oshiana, though. really really that's fucked up that you can send your kids to school and they have to worry about being shot that's fucked and that would never happen in canada, in canada. oh foodie the tragedy, the tragedy of one country, one nation, one state, one suburb. Fuck, like that. Like comparison, like that is awful. Like respect what's happening, and and again, feel empathy, feel sorrow, feel grief. Um. For. For them, you don't have... To, it's not a comp... Don't make it that. Canada, right? Boo. Bad. 
Pretty much. Very it never, it's very rare. But it happens in the U.S. In the fucking U.S. Fuck you. In the fucking U.S. Fuck you, foodie. It's a collective fuck you for everybody who I'm just feeling that energy from. As it happens, like, children have to worry about going to school and being fucking shot. And being shot? A child! A child has to worry about being shot in the United States of America. You don't want to hate me. Well then, fuck you. If I could die today to give my life for every kid, if for never being shot, I would do it. I would do it. I promise you. On my fucking life, I would give my life. Would you? For another kid to never be shot again in the United States, I would give your life. I would give my life. For another kid to never be shot in the United States, I would give my life. I promise you. And I'm drunk and I'm melodramatic. And I would give my life. My meaningless life. My my life is not worth much, but I would give it. For any kid to be safe in the United States of America. Just thinking this is maybe not the best topic for when you're No, but I mean I mean it. I mean it, Pete. I mean three bottles of wine and I know but I mean it. I'll like if like any like I mean it. Like I mean it. Okay? I do mean it. Like if like if I could like save kids from being hurt. Like, did that not affect you? Like, that fucked me up. That fucked me up. Knowing that kids are... Terry, thank you for being here for nine months, mate. I appreciate it. Terry says, thank you for addressing this. I think a lot of people will be addressing it. I think that a lot of people in her chat were specifically over her shit. Because, like, if you're, if you're just going to consistently, like, revel in the sty that is your life for spectacle, that's one thing, um, which Chantel does consistently on the daily. But, like... We've be we've been through similar like hard conversations with foodie right, um, DV SA we've we've been through all of that. This this is this is too much, you know. It's too much. It's entirely on her the words that she chooses to use and how she chooses to speak. Um, regardless of how drunk she is, that's all on her, by the way. She's chosen to do this on stream. And it just sucks. Because here's the thing, foodie. As much as you say, I would give, you know, everything, she can't. It's a moot point. And I think that... <laughs> I think that anyone who presents that, especially on a YouTube platform and again remember that this is her job like that it it's so distasteful and here's the thing foodie if you if you in this moment specifically feel sorrow and grief at the tragedy give back mate like recognize that talking about it is just hurting your audience um and I understand that you continue to use your YouTube as therapy but get a fucking life and a therapist um, sorry, I'm calm. And give back. Give back if that's what you want. If you're talking about children who are hurt or suffering, um, those people exist in your country as well, Chantel, like in, in your in your province, in your area. Give back. If this has if this has touched you in a way that you want to talk about it so fucking much, how about you give back? Go out and spend time, go work with Charities, go work with community groups, go work with organizations and enrich other people's lives instead of just sitting here drinking your Moscato and antagonizing your audience. There. Good. Um, and I have also missed everybody's chats. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, where are we? Uh, who do I start? Um, Judgmental Queen, hello, fabulous to see you today. Judgmental Queen says, and thank you for the super chat, Judgmental Queen says, Zach, thank you for being empathetic and kind as an American mother. I would love to meet Foodie and show her what a real woman acts like in life. I... <sighs> yeah. I mean, like, I... Generally, I try to be as, as, like, respectful coming into everything, but my God, she really... She's just pushing buttons, hey? Like, she's she's actively trying to piss people off about a topic that's, like, 
actually matters. Like, this isn't just her and old mate and their shitty relationship or her drug use or the fact that she can't, like, improve her mental health or, like, refuses to take her health seriously. Like, this is an actual conversation that impacts a large portion of her audience and a lot of people. And it, it simply comes down to, like, does she have respect for her audience? No. At all. But thank you, Judgmental. Um, who, thank you for the super chat, who says, her saying kids have to worry about being shot, but you hate me makes me dislike her exponentially more. Yeah, it, again, um, who, it is an ultimate com, uh, uh, competition for foodie because it is it, all about comparison, right? How could you How could you hate me because I say I would give my, my life to save kids? How could I be a bad person? How could you hate me? That's not That's not how it works. People don't like you, Chantel, because you're trash and you're like this. That's what it is. That's why people don't like you. You are not a likable person because you actively belittle and antagonize people. That's why. And I can't, I can't imagine too many people being okay with this in, in Chantel's smaller and smaller hug box. But it does very much speak to those people, speak to those people's character, I suppose if they accept this continuous conversation happening as an expectation. Oh no, it's fine. Foodie's just drunk and running her mouth. I still support you, Chantel. Yes, queen, go girl. Not up, no. Like, the Cuba drunk was pretty bad. And this is a continuation of distasteful topics that Chantel's just trash at. <sighs> uh, one more. Annie, thank you for the super chat. And he says, it was, it has happened in Canada. We're in the process of doing forensic digs at residential schools in three provinces. Yes. Um, that have found evidence of 200 plus Indigenous children who died in residential schools. Um, the... Oh, I can't remember the name, Annie. Thank you for the talking point and thank you for the super chat. The... Um, the... Is it is it a day of remembrance? Um, the orange? I can't remember. I, I won't bring it up. Um, but yes. And just... Chantel's really leaning into the the topics that are not necessarily in her home, you know? But again, don't don't let drunk foodie fool anyone saying I would give myself because she doesn't help her own community. She's she's literally just using these talking points as as content, as fodder, you know? And it's trash, I hate it. Uh Daya, thank you for the super chat as well. Daya says she's Oh, um, Daya, thank you for the super chat. I, I won't be reading that. Um, what Chantel has done in the past is her, and that's it. Um, and I, I won't be addressing that topic. Thanks. Or killed in the United States? Really? Does that not, does that not bother you? <laughs> really? Kids are killed? This is fucking disgusting. Uh, chat, just a reminder, thank you for being shenanigans-filled, respectful, and responsible. As always, I appreciate all of you. And heavy topics abound. But I hope you're out there taking care of yourself, because that's the most important thing. And she's listening to the song again. Because once again, I think she's actively trying to antagonize her audience, and it's trashy. There's always a- Listen. Yes? Listen. Not to the song. There's always a school shooting in the fucking way. Lucy, thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it. It's a cute little lemon. And I hope you're having a fabulous night, my friend. Is that not a perfect time to listen to Fox for the kids? Fox for the kids? Fox for the people? Or is that a tacky? Is that tacky? It was tacky. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. Listen to Fox. Sorry, I'm trying to find where the point is here. It's the finger. Stop. There's always a school shooting in the fucking US. Is that not a perfect time to listen to Fox for the kids? Fox for the kids? Fox for the people? Or is that a tacky? Is that tacky? It's fucking tacky! <laughs> it was tacky? 
Really? What the fuck is wrong with you? Your audience has been telling you that for three days, you... Cruel person. So how do I show my support for those kids? You can be respectful to the people who it impacts and their family. And if you actually want to put your foot out of your mouth, do some charitable work. Make make other people's lives better instead of using this shit for content. How do I show my support? That's how. Because I'm on their some Donations to... No, that's not... That's... That's... <laughs> I'm a drunk, but I'm like literally disgusted at those children. I'm pretty fucking disgusted, I'm not gonna lie. Children who lost their lives, so what do I do? Are you not grossed out? Yes, but. Yes, but what? This isn't the platform for it. No, I'm also cynical. I'm cynical about what? About the US? Pretty much. About foodies and tent here? What? Pretty much about everything, really. No, wait. I'm just a 19 kids died. 19 kids died. Mm -hmm. So, what do we do about this? What do we know about this? <laughs> hey, Fruity, you drunk ass. Maybe recognize the fact that you're not the problem. You're not the person who's going to solve any of these problems. Shut the fuck up. Keep it to yourself. I am heated. <laughs> like people don't think I'm sincere. Like think I don't care about these kids' lives. I would die. I would die. Would you die for 19 kids? I would die for 19 kids. I would die. I would. What do you expect? What do you want? Ass pats and super chats. Ooh. Give my life. Stop making it about you. 100%, Jackie. For these children who lost their life. <laughs> I know I'm being dramatic and I'm ridiculous, but I would give my life. From human to human, I would give my life for them. <laughs> I hope her chat was done with her. I'll throw up. Hearing that 19 kids died. Like Makes me want to throw up. <laughs> makes me want to die. Makes me hate humanity because I'm drunk. But fuck that. The parents that lost their children on that day because this 18 year old fucking shot them. Fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, universe. Me again. If we could just, like, make sure... It'd be really great if any families who were ever affected by gun violence never saw this. That'd be great. I would give my life for those kids. I would give my fucking life right now to bring those kids back to their parents. I promise you I would give them fucking life for them. I promise you I would give my life. I would give my fucking meanest, meaningless life for those kids to be back with their parents. I cannot imagine what it's like to... That's not possible. If you meant anything about this, you would go out and make other people's lives better that aren't necessarily your... the people in your circle. That's what I think. Broccoli, lovely to see you. Thank you for the super chat. I hope you're having a good night. Broccoli says she's an absolutely vile. See you next Tuesday. You're not wrong. I don't think you're wrong, Broccoli. I think you're quite right. Jackie, thank you for the super chat. Jackie says, imagine how the families... I, yeah, I don't even want to... Again, asking the universe for anybody impacted by by the loss of, like, a loved one, just never to see something like this, because it's, it's just real, like... awful. Yeah. It does also suck... And I don't want to... Oh God, I don't want to bring it up. It, it also sucks because, like, in the narrative of Chantal recently, we've seen her, like, baiting her audience with the... I wish I could be a mother. I, I'm, you know... You know, we could adopt this, that, the other. And it's just so fucking gross and just bad. Um, in, in context with the channel in general. 
Uh, Life, thank you for the super chat as well. Life says, even Pete, of all people, knows it's inappropriate. He has said multiple times in the last few minutes, like, hey, this is, like, not it, sis. How about we just don't? He always has an opinion, but now he's quiet and trying to get her to change the subject. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how he's just laying there, to be honest. He, I mean, he's, he's telling her. She's not listening. Uh, Annie, thank you for the super chat as well. Annie says, send you something sweet in DMs. Oh, no, that's fine. It, that's, thank you. Annie, that's very kind of you in both ways. I appreciate it. Just, she's not the one. And drunk Chantal is doubly not the one. She doesn't, she doesn't give a shit. She doesn't give a shit about how her audience feels. And it's very apparent. Um, Snowing, thank you for the super chat. Snowing says, to to dark everyone, hug, hug today everyone. Hug your mate, 100%. Kids, furry kids, 100%. My cat's Andy Pandy. That's an amazing name, Snowing. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and breathe and take a break. Yes. So sad. Try not to stay mad. Yeah, it's knowing it's... I guess out of, like, Chantal's BS today, again, she does... She continues to inspire and motivate me to be a better person, and... Today's probably one of those days where I recognise... Um, the... The... Uh... The good. Friends, family, having loved ones around and having having people in your life, period. Because you never know what's gonna happen. And I would hate I would hate for a tragedy to befall anyone and for Chantal to use that as you know stirring material. Uh, Sunny, thank you again for the super chat. Sunny says, listen, listen, we're watching you for morbid curiosity, not political or social commentary. Can we please move on to your inevitable <laughs> ER trip? What? Sorry, I thought you meant me, Sunny. No, 100%. Uh, Chantal, health arc, down for that. Political commentary, not here for that. Uh, Daily, thank you for the super sticker as well. I appreciate it. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna finish off the stream chat. To somebody and lose them to such nonsensical violence, I can't imagine. <laughs> Juna, 100%. Chantel often says how, you know, unsympathetic people are to her needs, but my god, she is, she is possibly, I consider myself pretty detached in Chantel, in the Chantel verse, um, but like, seeing someone actively, actively have no empathy towards an audience who is saying, this is not it, miss, maybe keep this all to yourself. Wild. Uh, Lara, thank you for the super chat as well. Lara says, you're a shining example of all those good, oh, Thanks. That's very kind of you, Lara. I, I just just try to be good, you know? <laughs> Thank you for being such a brilliant light in so many of our lives. I, I, look, I, if my shenanigans are entertaining you and my 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 topics of discussion <laughs> help at all, it is my absolute pleasure because the channel wouldn't be what it is without you guys because you're all... You're the, it's the community. Um, so thank you for the super chat and... And Pete's, thank you for the super chat. Pete says, how much you want to bet we get another recorded video of her saying she's going to go to therapy and take her meds and never drink again? I'd say pretty high. She might be quiet tomorrow. I don't know. Chantel really, because it's weird, this 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 talking point in particular, I thought she would have learnt her lesson after being called out two days ago about it all. But she really, she really is a changing individual because doubling down has become pretty much the go-to on all of this. And I thought there might have been one moment of like, oh, she gets it. Like she understands why talking about this is not it, but instead decided to get drunk and keep doing it. So I don't know. I don't know. She might be quiet today. I think that if she goes live today, she's going to get a lot of heat and any lives today will probably be all of like 20 or 30 minutes long because she won't be able to, She like she'll have nothing to, to provide um, because her audience probably won't have a lot of tolerance, I imagine. Rightly so. I can't. I can't. Maybe rages, Pete? Oh, I don't know, mate. I can't. Imagine what it's fucking like to lose. As distasteful as this is gonna be for me to say, unfortunately, we're here. Um, 
it would not surprise me if Chantal tomorrow or today turns this around to, well, you're all soulless, you're all heartless, I would give myself and you're all out here calling me, you know, all of these disgusting things. And she'll she'll find a way to make turn this all around and make it about her and make it competitive um, and say, I am, the, I am the superior person, I am the better person because I would, you know, I said all of these things and you're all out there being mean to me. And that's basically what she's touching on here, but I'd imagine she's going to lean into it. Um, this weekend, potentially, that might be one of the outcomes. Somebody. Damn, that's cynical to say, but, like, I would expect it. To lose a child like that, that you're supposed to bring into this world and protect and give a good life to, what I wouldn't give to be able to do that. What I wouldn't give to be able to do that. What I wouldn't give to be able to do that. To be able to do that for a child. Log off. Just log off, foodie. This isn't about you. This entire topic 19, is not about you. 19. Kids! Hi, in the US. Why is she berating her audience with this? Because of your gun. Because of your gun laws. Fuck you. Right? 19 kids died. They were shot. Orange size exit wound in their box because of a sight rock. A sight rock rifles. Leaving an orange size egg wound. Yeah, Pete's now's the time to take her away. Nobody has the right to own it. An assault rifle. Nobody. Right, Pete? Yep. Nobody. An 18 year old went into a school and shot 19 kids with an assault rifle because he legally owned the right to own an assault rifle and kill 19 children. 19 children. But you have the right to own an assault rifle. That's fine. That's fine. You have the right to own an assault rifle. And the blood of those children's hands is on you because in no other fucking country does children go to school and get murdered. In no other country than the United States do children go to school and get fucking murdered. With assault weapon. <laughs> and you don't care. Because you own the right to an assault weapon. <laughs> I think a lot of people cared. I think I think a lot of people cared. Nineteen kids, nineteen kids died for your fucking right. Nineteen, nineteen kids, innocent children that will never grow old, that will never fall in love, that will never grow old because of you and your fucking right to assault weapon. Ah, uh, who? Thank you for the super chat. Who says these are our kids? We feel it more than anyone. One hundred percent. Again, uh, a reminder that Chantelle is speaking on an issue that isn't in her home, and that she has no no experience with. And that's not to say that the response of anybody can't be empathetic um, and understanding it, absolutely can, but uh, <sighs> Drunk Chantel is is actively blaming people in this chat, not in this chat, but in her chat, and I hate it, and it's just really harmful and unkind and unnecessary and gross you know uh jen thank you for the super chat jen says i think she's just trying to redirect her anger at old mate and Didi onto another distracting topic she chose a poor choice jen 100 percent. thank you for the super chat um the i think the issue is that she's been talking like the thing that i don't get is to be that ignorant and that bullheaded and that stubborn 
to talk about this for days now. Like, she, like she's actively making a choice. I don't care how drunk she is. She's actively making a choice to continue talking about this in this way. With no respect. It's, yeah, bad. Bad and do not like. Like, on mental illness, an 18-year-old child of 19 children. Because you neglect to look at the problem that your fucking country has. Once again, Chantal, as an individual member who's not part of that country, I feel as if you're missing a very large and vocal point. That is that people do care. People do care. People do care and people are active and people are trying to find solutions because that's that's them. That's their family. That's their loved ones and that's their environment. Um, and, and the people that you keep mentioning and at this point are blaming, which is fucking gross, um, are actively trying to find solutions. And you are drunk on the internet crying because you refuse to go to therapy and this is a topic that should not be unpacked in this state. Uh, we still got 11 minutes, so... Hate me all you want. Hate me all you want. Great. But you know it's true. You know it's true. A frostier community post? Is that? <sighs> I do the silly voice, but I don't think it's um, appropriate. Foodies community post from one minute ago reads... I drank way, way, way too much. Never drinking again for real. I wish that was satire, it's not. Especially not on live stream. I lost, lost, lose one of them. I, I lose the ability to control how much I drink. And as you all know, very unfortunately, what comes out of my mouth as well. I acted very inappropriately and I'm truly sorry. So all's forgiven then, right? I don't, I don't think that's how that works. I don't, I don't think that's how that works. And I don't think she's sorry and I don't think she cares. Again, that might be me being cynical, but she's still got a bit to go. You know it. Yeah, apology not accepted, natural, yes. These children deserve a life. These yeah, children mama, deserve good. a fucking life and they're being brought up by mothers who can't afford to fucking work more than minimum wage. They don't give a fuck about their kids because they can't afford to. Hey Jude, welcome back to the channel as a member. I appreciate it. Welcome to Pulpster. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm sorry. We'll slow it down for you. Children deserve a life. These children deserve a fucking life, and they're being brought up by mothers who can't afford to fucking work more than minimum wage. They don't give a fuck about their kids because they can't afford to. And hey, Fruity. How about you take that 15k you were just spouting off about an hour ago in this live stream and donate that shit. Go and do something for your local community or just your community at large. How fucking... <sighs> in a world of the free, in the land of the fucking free... I would give my life for every single one of those kids. No one's asking you to. How about, like, shut up and give back? Cool. Great. Let's start there. Let's start, let's start real small. Every single one of those... Did she just blame mums? Uh, yeah, by the sounds of it.
She blamed mums who work minimum wage and who don't care about their children. But a reminder, guys, she loses the ability to control how much she drinks. And as all, you all well know, very unfortunately, what comes out of her mouth. So she is blameless in all of this, according to Chantal and her community post. Okay. I would give my life. I promise you. I he agree, is? Kay. Come live with me. I will give you a good home. I can't. The kids are dying of gunshot wounds. I can't deal with it. Come here. Come live with me. This is fucked. Oh my god. <laughs> If you can't take care of your children, please give them to me. Okay? Uh, ATP. Hey, mate. Thanks for being here for three months. ATP says, I need to sage my brain after this. You and me both, mate. I need a cookie or something. <sighs> would do any I would do anything to give a child a good life I promise you please please tell them I would give them anything to give them a good life drink some water no yes no please drink some water shut the stream off dude I'm just saying this is the truth your children are good That's why you need to drink some water, because right now... Please, listen to me. I'm sane. I'm sad. Give me adopted children. No. Universe, no. Please. We don't be parenting and children. Very good. Ooh. Hey Jude, thanks for the super chat mate. Jude says, Poppy, thank you for being the voice of reason that sickens me as a single American mum and your perspectives are valuable. And I do oh, thank you Jude, thank you for the kind words. Um, and I hope you're doing well and I hope the, the little one is doing well as well and thank you for the super chat. <sighs> Dude, really? She just, she just, she just doesn't stop. Oh, who? Thank you for the super chat. I'm sorry if I missed it. I've been, I've been dealing, dealing, trying to, trying to catch up. Um, sorry, everyone. Um, who says, I missed the super chat from Morbidly Entitled. Hello, Morbidly Entitled, and my apologies for the delay. You've read, I live in Texas, the heartbeat is palpable, she's disgusting. Thank you for being kind. No, um, uh, Entitled, thank you for the super chat, and thank you for being kind, and who, thank you for passing on that message. And this is a lot. This is just a lot, and it's gross, and I hate it. And I think the important thing to take away from this is to, like, go out, be better, and do as much as you can for for loved ones and people in your life and your community at large, because Foodie is a, an excellent example of someone who just fucking shits all over that. <sighs> Don't be like her. Asriel, thank you for the super chat as well, mate. Asriel says, I can't find any humour in this. This is disturbing. A hundred percent this is disturbing. This is, like, fucked. Uh, in my, uh, honestly, I think this is leagues and above worse than the Cuba drunk stream. Oh, 
<laughs> no, I agree, chicken. But he could yank, just <laughs> yank out the internet. Don't leave me! Sit. I'm holding the glass so you can fucking drink it. Because you need to drink some water. Can, you we, have ad my... can we adopt children? No. I want to have children. No. Well, go ahead. I'm not I think you. we would be good children and parents. No. I have no interest in raising a child. No, but what about Ukrainian people who are sad? Dying. Still have no interest in raising no, but for Ukrainian people who are dying, they might need a house here. <laughs> Ooh, she makes me mad. <laughs> I want to help me. I want to help you, please. Who need help? A hundred percent, butted. See how you feel once you've sobered <laughs> up, and then you can start figuring out how to help people. Oh, <laughs> I do want to help people. You don't think I want to help? For right now, what I'd recommend is to get off the live. No. Highly recommend that, uh, Angel. Thank you for the super sticker. That's very kind. Thank you. Whoa. Drink some water. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, Maybe I do. Eat something. Eat no. Some, some she can like. There is no way to. She. Yeah. She doesn't choose her family. She doesn't. Like she doesn't, uh, she doesn't prioritize her family. She doesn't prioritize her friends. She doesn't prioritize her local community. She could give two fucks. She's selfish. It's all about her. Um, but she wants to present this shining beacon of I care about everyone, you guys, and it is the absolute opposite. I think. I want to get off live. I just want to maybe get some more food in you. <laughs> Just <laughs> no! Do something to try to sober up. Just a little bit. She's gonna listen to pumped up kicks again. Because it's not as if her audience has told her that's really not it. Um, Elena, thank you for the super chat, mate. I hope you're doing well. Elena says she makes me so mad. How? How can anyone listen to this and think, yeah, she's so right. I don't know. That boggles the mind. And I think part of, like, the, the like, morbid curiosity of it all, because, look, realistically, I am never going to understand Chantel and her thought process and, like, how she sees the world, relationships, life. I'm never going to get it. I'm just ne I'm applying too much logic and reason, I feel, to anything that Chantel presents. Um, but I also think and know that a lot of people watch her, much like me, for the morbid curiosity of it all, right? Like, where does it end? What are the repercussions? Are there consequences? Who knows? We'll find out um, on the next episode of, of Pulpy Ball Z. But ultimately, it's a lot of, like, really poor takes. And... The cynical part of me is heavily considering, like, how much, how many of these discussions truly are about leaning into that element of spectacle part of me and not necessarily giving two hoots about just how, um, just how harmful or hurtful or disrespectful any of these conversations would be. Like, it wouldn't surprise me for Chantel to keep talking about these things ad infinitum because it essentially just like draws attention and we all know how Chantel feels about that uh lady lithium thank you for the super chat as well uh lithium says well said zach the thing is um disgusting saying give your kiss to me a hundred percent lithium that was not like not it Chantel. i don't necessarily know whether or not it's like a savior complex or what the hell it is or just really drunk Chantel. but like i think things not to say right things not to say that um melissa thank you for the super chat melissa says i feel the need to apologize for it you do not need to apologize at all melissa that is not on you but but thank you this person has no core values or tact zero tact 
I agree. Um, it's gross, but thanks for bringing this to everyone's attention. Oh, Melissa, I mean, she's... She, the, the thing is, as well... Thank you for the super chat. Uh, the thing is, as well, Chantel has the biggest platform of anyone. Well, like, well, not the biggest of anyone, but, like, is the... Is the... 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 Focus, right? The core. Like, she is... She, she is the one that everybody watches, and whether or not you don't watch her directly or watch through a reaction channel, like, it... It's all... It's all from her. <laughs> like, she will consistently say that reaction channels lie or try to besmirch her or, like, try to make people actively hate her. No, like, this is what we're watching. This. Like, she is presenting what we're watching and we're all making a judgment about it. Sure. Yeah, we don't like you, Chantel. Period. I don't think many people do. And if people do like you for this kind of shitty behavior, my God, questions, curiosities, choices. Uh, Frenchie, thank you for the super chat as well. Frenchie says, age restricted and subscriber only saved her channel. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I think that, like, any of those roadblocks are still... Like, YouTube will still consider what's being put on platform as, like... Like, whether or not it needs to be considered, regardless of how many blocks you put in place, right? So, like, if you do a mem members-only chat... Uh, members-only stream, for instance, and you only have, like, 20 people watching it, it's still YouTube's... Like, it's not necessarily their duty of care because they kind of shirk a lot of that as a responsibility of the content creator. Um, but it is ultimately, like, they are responsible for it being on platform and they trust in good faith that you as a as a, as a content creator will act in good faith towards terms of service and, and guidelines, right? And, and yeah, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I think she's just really turning into, like, not turning into because she's been it for a while, but, like, really leaning into vitriol and like uh, poor uh poor, poor takes right being disrespectful uh miss havisham thank you for the super chat havisham says the best thing chantel can do for the u.s is to keep a canadian savior self and her asinine opinions on her side of the border yeah and offline and maybe like stop getting drunk and talking about him and sharing them putting through putting people in really awkward situations where they have to consider chantel's bullshit takes on all of these things including like just, just motherhood and tragedy and like just so many things have a shim, just and she could also give back to her local community and like put up or shut up you know uh vicky thank you for the super chat vicky says looks like i'm catching the tail end i'll be re-watching vicky just a warning it's a lot it's a big one today um apologies in advance and hope you're well and thank you Stop says she didn't even vote in her local election. Oh, that's right, because her audience, uh, audience, sorry, her address on her license is not local. So yeah, Chantel's really out here trying to help make a difference and and change anything. Lies. Oh, have we still got it on mute? Uh, there is a talking point there, um, but it's basically continued discussion of all of it. I'm going to speed it up just because... Okay. I would get my life wrong. Oh, the... Yes, and I just... Okay, so it was there. Uh... After singing, dancing, and making all of the all of the finger guns towards her audience and the camera, Chantel finishes the song by stating, I'm an asshole, and Peaks gives this face. I'll see if I can catch it again. Uh, please hold. There it was. Super drunk Chantel that's not responsible for any of the words that come out of her mouth, fully recognizing that she is an asshole in this moment. Sounds right. Yes, and I just, I just made fun of him. I just went like this. I just went like this. And fully recognizes that she made fun of it and did the finger guns at the camera. Cool. Great. But it's not her fault, you guys. It was the drink. It was the drink's fault. This isn't, you know, that's me being very sarcastic. What are people saying now? That I'm an asshole? I'm a piece of shit? I'm a scum? Right? I'm disgusting. I'm a fucking piece of shit, right? And she'll say, no, I'm not, because I would give my life. Because I would give my life for those kids? There it is. Reading it like a book. You know, you Americans are fucked up. You kill kids more. That's a statistic. Shut the fuck up. 
I'm sorry. Yeah, Pete's that face. Feels. Feels. I'm sorry, I'm like this. I'm sorry, I'm not looking. I need to be honest. You know, it stinks up, right? It has problems. You know what? Everywhere has problems. I don't wish that kids, right? I know. You know the, the pumpkin fix one with the sunshine? Mm hmm. You know those shrimp? Or am I an asshole? Am I the asshole? Tell her she's an asshole. Drunk. A drunk asshole. An asshole nonetheless. But you know, 100%. If I could save... If I could save... Okay, I'm sorry. What? Drink your water. Drink Look. several glasses and stop talking. Living. Thanks for the super chat, mate. Hope you're well. Living says, thanks for the laughs today. I'm stuck in hospital and will soon have a vid of the ER visit and admission. Any support would be greatly appreciated. Diamond painting foodie reacts coming again soon. Living, thank you for the super chat, and I hope you're feeling well, mate. Um, of course. I mean, we're all here for more and more reacts. Today has... I mean, look, we try to keep it as light and, and jovial as possible over here, but my god, this is the, the last part. I knew it was coming, but... Oof, just, ugh, irritating. I don't understand why people hate me for the United States. This guy shooting at your water. Okay, but 19 kids were shot. Yes. But it's not my fault. Why would I give my life for them? You know that? I would. I would. <laughs> These people don't believe me. <laughs> might not be a bad idea to get some more food in here as well. With how much you've had to drink. <laughs> Have your water and go to bed. Saved, I understand. Yeah. Okay, stop it. I just want to. Okay, I'm in my ship. I'm going to... And that's where she ended it. And then we got the final video, which I don't think is up anymore. Oh, look, this one went down as well. Whoa, what a surprise. Awful. Anyway, chat, we've been live for four hours, and Foodie surprises no one at her t lack of tact, distaste, general respect for audience members, and um, everything, really. She's, she's not a good person. Anyway, thank you very much for joining this stream. There were laughs earlier on, I promise. It wasn't as much of this, but... They're important conversations to have because you should respect your audience and understand when, like, your vitriol is just caustic. That's the word. Go out, be wonderful, love your loved ones, hug them tight, be amazing, and have a great day. For those of you on the rewatch, I, uh, I appreciate, rather, your comments, opinions, and eyeballs. It has been a long day, and no doubt tomorrow will be a long day as well. And that's okay, because it's fine. <laughs> Anyway, go out, be wonderful, and I will see you all in the next video and or live stream. Bye.